All right, here we are, playing some standard. We're about to get uh, Rivals of Ixalan, but before we do, let's battle a little bit with the deck I like a lot. This is Blue-White Cycling, Cycling Control deck based around uh, Drakehaven. More importantly, Abandoned Sarcophagus. This card's insane. Um, basically, it just gives, it's like a Yagmoth's Will, it never goes away. Um, we have all the cycling cards already, cast out, Illumination. Countervailing Winds is insane. You cycle it early. And later on, it's like a hard counter out of your graveyard. Um, Sensor's obviously pretty cool. And, uh, you know, the usual Fumigate, Settle, uh, Search for Escanta, and then Drake Haven to win the game with. We also have a small uh, Desert Package with four Red Rivulets and two Desert of a True. Mostly for Control Mirrors. Um, yeah, deck's pretty sweet. Definitely a little more uh, robust than Approach, because Approach requires you to cast a 7 mana sorcery over and over again, and therefore you're weak to cards like you need. Whereas this deck, you should have to resolve a 3 mana enchantment. So, deck sweet, let's battle. Also having a nice little discussion about possible bans in Standard. So we'll uh, continue that discussion as well. Competitive Standard League. So, um... The deck is definitely... I. Nicola, I totally agree with you. Energy is definitely too efficient. Um, the deck's too the deck's too good. But like I said, there's a big difference between like if you're you could you gotta understand it's not just for us. Like it's not just for tournament players. Like F and is really important, tournaments are really important, opens are really important, online everything everything's really important. And like, you know, innovating the, the team or mirror and learning how to play team mirrors that's part of like being what a tournament player is it's like our job you know like is it always fun no you know like breaking the team or mirror is not gonna always gonna be a great time it's not as fun as like building a deck like this but it's part of competitive magic there's always gonna be a best deck and the the goal is to oh, excuse me you know the goal is to try and figure out how to beat the best deck you know um Definitely think that, again, standard is not great, but like, when you have games where it's just like, turn three Sahili, and they play like their Planeswalker, and they just die, you know, like, that's just really, really bad. That feels really bad. Like, you know, I, or like, spin, Mar like Marvel was like, Marvel was a thousand times worse than, um, than team or energy is my god are you kidding me oh turn for ulamog oops sorry you know like so it's bad you just people don't people tend to really underestimate how bad bands are for magic like it's so bad really really bad like i i've been to a lot of local stores you know um when i was on team mgg now i'm on team bcw we do the challenge events where we um you know, we, we would go to local stores, we still do, on Friday nights before SCG opens. And we do like a, a gunslinging event for two hours where we beat us to get prizes and stuff. I'm not surprised. And, um, so I talk to and see a lot of like, a lot of Magic players you wouldn't normally see necessarily at opens, you know? These are FNM players. They play FNM every week. They own one deck. You know, Magic's fun. They buy packs, they buy cards. It's a pretty large demographic, honestly. And... These are the players that, like, banning a card is like, they're like, fuck this, I'll just go play Xbox, you know? Because, like, it just feels so bad to have your deck banned, or cards banned, or whatever. So, right, cat, totally. And, like, it's, that sucks, it's hard to quantify that as a tournament player, because we just want, you know, the best possible format. Ban whatever you want, do whatever you want, I don't care. That's not how it works, though. Um, that's not what's best for the game as a whole, which is the important part, because what Wizards really needs to do is grow the game. And, um, you know, Magic's been a little stagnant in the last few years, partly because Standard's been so crappy, because it's simply hard to grow your game when your entry-level format isn't very good. You keep banning cards. No one's going to start playing Magic by playing Modern or Legacy, you know? So... It's a problem, and Teamer's not the end of the world. All right, so we're gonna 
we're just going to Haven here and make them overcommit, because if they don't overcommit, we'll start making a bunch of drakes, and if they do, we'll feed the gate. So. Oh, it's calf? I'm sorry, your your text is like this really light green in my chat box. See? It's like it's very, very light green. It's kind of hard to see. I apologize. Um, but yeah. I missed some questions. Top five decks in modern. Grixis, Death Shadow, Storm. Alright, they did not. They have a Supreme Will here, which is dead, but... I guess we actually we could just, like, start cycling stuff and make them cast something. If I missed your question, please just re repost it in chat. I was, he was talking a lot. We fumigate here, I think it's pretty likely they have a Glorybringer. We could just make a bunch of drakes and block this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I like the idea of waiting. Also a slight chance they have a super main deck Supreme Will, which will obviously end the game if we cast Humigate, so. All right, we're gonna cycle Elimination. All right, it's top five decks in modern. Um, yeah, Gr Grixis, Death Shadow, Storm. I don't know, honestly, it's just modern. There's as long almost almost any deck is reasonable as long as you know how to play it well. All right, um, recycle cast out here. We get a third one. This is effectively a six six. We could just triple block the cub. Nah, because they, they, they have Harm's Lightning for sure. Most players start by playing modern? How? How do you afford a modern deck? Like, that's not, I, that, that, that might be the way it was, but, like, it doesn't seem like a good way to get, to get players into your game, in my opinion. Modern is a fairly unforgiving and expensive format, and while it, it may get some new players in, like, you would do much better with a good standard format. Yeah, I think Gabriel, that's pretty reasonable. Death Shadow, Storm, Tron, you know, Jess Guy slash Blue White Control, Affinity. And they are not casting anything. I'm not going to make one Drake. It's pretty good. Oh, proxy events. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a great thing. I'm gonna grab some water, bear back. I'm like really, really thirsty. I think modern is it might be modern is a good format. I still think it's a good entry level format. Um and thanks for following Loxy and follow the stream with that follow button, of course. Alright, I mean Pawn's got a full grip. And, and they're kind of flying around Fumigate, but at the same time, like, you know, eventually, 
You gotta do something, right? I also have a slight inkling they might have um, some sort of main deck counterspell, Supreme Will, something of that nature. We're gonna cast our. All right, cool. Now it's on. That was dumb. Just trying. Right. That's gonna be really annoying. Put sensor in the graveyard. Uh, no, we want that for sure. No. Yes, modern would definitely be an extremely overwhelming first experience. Yeah. Here's this super linear deck, figure it out. You know, here's this other super linear deck, figure it out. This is a Chandra. It's not that bad, that's, that's also fun. Question is, if they say they cast another another refiner here or a virtuoso, do we cast sensor? I don't think so. Yes, I think it's like as a good team or matchup for sure. Red matchup is rough game one, but fine. I think it's like pretty good, honestly. It's not amazing, but it's good. All right. It's not linear decks are easy to learn. It's hard to learn how to play around all the weird things in the format. You know, someone's like ad nauseum, and you're like, what? Like, all right, we'll take the one, the one Drake here. I think. So I want the ability to uh, cast sarcophagus next turn with a little defense up. So good draw. Hunter Villains in the graveyard, yes. Fantastic. So now we get to play our sarcophagus. And essentially it is what they would say on. This card is insane. It would be interesting to know how many players start playing Magic because they watch Magic first. I think that would be in the minority. Harness Lightning on the Drake. Sure. Gabriel's got a very good point. Yeah, like, kids start playing... Let's do a kid start playing Magic with. I'm teaching my seven-year-old how to play with Nicole, and this is what kids start playing magic with. Wild Wanderer, Savage Twister, Shock. This is John's deck. Giant Growth, Elvish Mystic, Curd Ape. This is where you should start playing magic. You know, this basically could be made into a standard deck, not too difficult, you know. Red Green Dinosaurs. That's where you start playing magic. You know, magic shouldn't be like charging this card's so good unfair magic shouldn't be you know bottles and tron that shouldn't be your first exposure to magic you know all right uh beginning combat last chance is up cool get that up for you yeah but real milk man you were already in at that point you know all right, so if we um, cycle Renewed Faith here, we actually lose our ability to countervailing win something. So we're just gonna take two here. I do have a lot of charisma, thank you. I'm just oozing charisma. Bristling Hydra. Yeah, I already countered that one. Give me the old countervailing wins. This card is really, really good. Like, Sarcophagus, Countervailing Winds. Thanks for following Scary Rar. Sensor, and we could flip our Ascanta here with our one Rivulet, but I don't think we really need to do that. 
Now we're just gonna make a bunch of drakes. Trying to make a land drop here. Yeah, EDH is not casual. I mean, EDH is not a learning format. It is a casual format that is very, very complicated. Correct. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're... Pawn has five cards in hand, and we probably have no chance to lose this game. Um, we have... Currently have an Illumination, a Cast Out, a Sensor, and a Faith we can cast. Another Hydra. Sure. Yeah. Block skis. And we're honestly going to start just, just turn the corner here with our Drakes. Keep flip as Kanta. Orders in the graveyard. Flip that thingy. The game is getting comically out of hand for our opponent. Yeah, like, my start playing Magic was pretty interesting. Like, I played, um, in, like, high school and stuff. My, uh, my buddy Matt, actually, when I was, like, 13 or 14, like, came in my room one day, and he was like, dude, play this game with me. And he had, the, like, the 7th edition starter kit. And I was like, nah, man, that's lame. As I'm, like, playing Diablo, listening to Korn, you know? And, um, Glory B, huh? Okay. And um, he like forced me to play with him. Like brought our cards to school. My buddy Gavin was like, "Oh man, I used to play that game when I was, you know, in middle school or whatever." And um, and he was like, "You know, all right, cool. You know, I'll, I'll bring some cards in." And he gave me like a like four Sarah Angel, four Wrath of God, four Counterspell, and a Tundra or something. My deck was really good. And I like I, I like you know dicked around playing in school for a few years. When I graduated, like I had no one to play with. And I, I, I didn't go to FNM or anything, I didn't really know about that. Um, I had a bad in-store experience when I was like 14 or 15 where like we all, all of us went to the store and like got like ripped off in a trade, everyone was really rude, the store owner like was just like an asshole. Like I don't know how you let someone walk into your store who's obviously new and has no idea what's going on and they ask to look at your rare binder and you're like, oh this crap? Yeah sure. You know like, what's wrong with you? So didn't go to any stores. And then I um I started playing uh, online, and I actually just drafted all the time. And I just only played limited for like four or five years. Went to like limited limited PTQs. Top eight of my first PTQ ever because I'd been playing online so much. And I was like I'm actually pretty good at that point. And then started playing constructed until like a few years after that. So I had kind of a weird path, I guess. But I imagine most people just like start playing, build their jank, you know, bring their dank, janky deck to F and M, and start learning that way, you know. Alright, uh... How did I board this matchup? I want the Gearhulks. Um... I like to go down on... What? I don't mind cutting a Fumigate because they're gonna have counters post-board. I also don't mind cutting a countervailing winds. I am a little interested in like in a gate to fight their counter spells, but I'm not super interested in that. Maybe one. Yeah, this is fun. That's a good question. Let's talk. Everyone please post in chat how you started playing magic. Let's do a little a little market research here. Hand 
that's pretty bad. The dark had just come out? Damn, don't date yourself. <laughs> that's honestly how it happens though. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of times it's like someone learns how to play and that person teaches their friend and that's just how it goes, you know? It's a lot of friend to friend teaching. Uh, we're gonna play Fortress here and just cycle this farmland on too. We need some spells. After school clubs, that's a cool one. Good choice in the farmland. I'm pretty greedy with these. I almost never cycle them. No, I almost never play them as lands. Starter decks. Did you ask your dad to buy them, G Lob Mancer? You just, you just, just like he just got them for you. Like, oh, let's buy this game for my son. Like, I feel like that's an area where magic is really lacking. I mean, I wrote an article about this a while ago, basically about how was, you know, how the, oh my God, how did I beat that card? The younger, gen younger generation of magic is uh, not really there, and. They should be more focused on like trying to get younger people to play. Only one game start stuff. Yeah, like a lot of playing in school, a lot of friends trying to play and stuff. This is bad for us. This is not. This is not a good scenario. Um. hand is pretty bad and they have a pretty good start here I'll learn in school then played limited in a store for a while that's the thing I don't like I don't know what the current like acquisition plan is for uh for magic Pokemon's a good one yeah like you know you, you start playing Pokemon because you watch the cartoons and shit and then you go to the go to the Pokemon store and like learn magic you know Uh, no shame here. Just, just slam jamming all the way. If they attack first, I would, I would have killed their cub. But now I can force spike their bristling hydra and be very happy about it. So, lol says French play when I was in seventh, eighth grade. Ice Age was out. Played in high school. Sweet. I got happens a lot. Like a lot of people would, would play in high school, stop playing for a bit, and then kind of go back to like, oh, was that cool game I used to play? Now that I have some money and some time, you know? That's insane. That's insane. I don't think we can have any chance of winning, honestly. We'll keep trying. This game seems really, really rough, though. Nissa seems absurd against us. Like, Magic players, like, never really quit, and that's good. Like, re Magic retention is insane. Like, nobody leaves Magic. People quit for five years and just come back to playing anyway. But the, the, um, the acquisition, what is, what is this? I play on Settle, I guess? Yeah, magic is obviously expensive and definitely more expensive in, in foreign countries for sure. It's unfortunate, but... No, LOL's for sure. I mean, like I said, like, you play in high school with your friends, you don't really care. You know, I have five rares on my deck, and whatever. You know, we're, we're just playing and having fun. You know, and then you, as an adult, you can actually play in, like, more serious tournaments. You have the, the funds and the means to get yourself there and buy cards, and that was great for us. Didn't really do much that turn. So the same as a chance. Um, okay. I mean, if they had a gate, would they have used it on the cub? 
I would say probably not. Um, I'd say probably more, more interested in stopping a cast out or a, a fumigate. Actually, I guess to me it doesn't matter anymore. They did cycle before. Maybe they were looking for a negate. Like, why else would they, would they cycle beforehand? Yeah, they probably, probably don't have a counter spell. I think we're just going to slam the sarcophagus. Call it a day. There were kids in college that quit drugs because it was too expensive to do drugs and play magic. Magic, the anti-drug. That's good. The first time you went to Judge Nationals, you didn't know there was a payment involved? Yeah, I got to pay you. Dude, we're just like pretty dead, right? It's just weird, like, I mean, I'll post the article I wrote in chat, uh, let's cycle this thing. That's a pretty good draw. Gear Hulk? Hmm. I wrote this article, uh, about six months ago. We did, a, we did an event at a game store, and they had, like, a whole kids thing. It was really cool. It was, like, a kids F&M with, like, 20 kids and stuff. And, um, it's on the idea of, like, getting more kids in Magic and growing the game beyond the curmudgeon old, you know, retention players. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna gear all gear for sure. We're obviously scared of a counter spell, but usually they have the gates, so Gearhole can block this to attack Nissa. What is this? Sure. You wanna play my game? You wanna try and play my game with me? Yeah, I mean, 10 year old's obviously a little young, but, you know, if you're 15, 16, 14, you can go to a card store, you know? Honestly, it's at the point now where, like, a lot of parents are just Magic players. Magic's been around for 25 years, you know? I mean, I have a seven-year-old. You know, in a few years, I'm going to bring him to a card store, which is cool. Let's in with Aether, sure. Ideally, they will play some big spell here, which we can countervailing wins. Oh, I'll play Glorybringer. Thank you. This is right, right? Is it better to farm it? Maybe this is wrong. Let them attack with it. Is there probably ultimate too? And then I can block. Is it flying too? They do have flying. So we'll go to two, but we'll kill everything and kill Nissa. Okay, so they did not ultimate Nissa. Alright, so they're playing around Gearlock pretty hard here. So we kind of telegraphed our play a little bit, I guess. What are you going to do? What's up, Mofo Sliver? Good folks are tuning in, welcome to the stream. Could when you join the military? That happens a lot. I feel like the, the period of like of 18 to 22, 23 is like a, a quitting period. Like you play in high school, you quit for a bit, you come back to it. It's a very common magic arc. Up at nine? Good lord. Thank you. 
Sweet. Now we're on the offensive. Okay, so we get lucky here. We can make uh, two drakes with at least one. Right, they quit when life gets too real and they're kind of like building their life and then once they're a little more stable, they get back into it. Oh, that's a tilt. All right. Let's hit a one mana cycler, please. How is this? Ah, oh, come on. Double a braid in post board? It's a lame -o. One mana cycler, please. Oh, yeah, okay. Tilt. Yeah, this Nissa is destroying us. They should like double alt and kill us. We already cast our market. That's funny. Okay, well, I guess we're going to attack Nissa. Leave this rivulet in our hand so we can... Uh... Oh. Yeah. Andre TP. That's sub number 99. I know I said that, I said that earlier, but we lost the sub. Um, in the, in the intern. Uh, Andre TP. That's a sub. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important? What's your name? Where are you from? All new subs get a free deck tech. Everyone show some love for our new sub and chat with some uh, emotes and stuff. And just be awesome. Because we're a family here and we all love each other. Neutral ground. I just get a neutral ground all the time. Not all the time, but for, for PTQs and stuff. Okay, that's a problem. It's a favorite board game? I don't know. I like party games more than board games. I enjoy Settlers of Catan. The game's fun. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kill one of these. Let's kill the, uh, island, I guess. Well, they actually, they, Milk Band, they moved it. They moved to a, uh, a, uh, ground level storefront location for about a year and then it closed. Need some help here. That's help. It's not the worst. Of course, this Drake is just gonna eat two Thopters, but that's fine, I guess. The call's home, yay. All right, Andre Tepedino. Hopefully I'm saying that right. From Brasilia, Brazil, cool. Planks is 98, Judges is 04, currently a level three, awesome. As for deck techs, I can't really build anything. I sub because you're one of my favorite players on tour. And I gave you some sweet tips about Modern. Awesome, thanks my friend, I appreciate that very, very much. Well, welcome to the stream. Thanks for subbing. Of course, subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer. And um, this is what I do. It's my full-time gig. I write articles for StarCityGames.com. I play on the SG Tour. I uh, on Team BCW. I coach. Uh, I stream. Full-time Magic player. So your support is greatly appreciated. You're not only supporting me. You're also supporting Burnsy. Good morning, Burnsy. And Burnsy is very, very happy with your support. So thank you. Yes, they moved again. It was like, I couldn't tell you what year it was. It was way after 97. All right, I mean, go ahead and negate me. I, I, got, I got nothing else. What do you want from me? Uh, Real Team Leader NA says, the best way to get on a team just to win tournaments or just top eighting events good enough? I mean, what kind of team? 
like Team BCW, like a like a promotional sponsored team, or just a, just like a group of players who are practicing for tournaments. Like a what do you what do you mean? Awesome, sweet. Well, that was a good a good turn of events for us. We uh like I guess two for one that would settle. We got all their energy though. It's pretty good. We have his leftover Drake, just kind of dealing with this Nissa. An established team with sponsors. Yeah, I mean, you should get a play and win and get yourself out there. I mean, like, when it comes to, like, Team MGG or Team BCW, the teams that I've been on, there's not really a recruiting process. It's sort of like a don't call us, we'll call you scenario. You know, like, every player on Team BCW is, like, a well-known player with a lot of really good results, who's very well-known in the community, streams, etc., etc. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard to get there. But honestly, you know, one of our team members, Todd Stevens, is a really good example of what you can do in a year or two. I mean, Todd went from, honestly, a absolute nobody two years ago to doing well in events, writing articles, I mean, having a successful stream. Uh, Todd did a really good job. I've been, I'm very, very impressed with Todd and his, his ability to just, he just kind of came out of nowhere, you know, and like, that's a hard thing to do in Magic. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, so it's possible, but it definitely requires, you know, Putting yourself out there, doing well in events, and then um, having the peripherals as well. You know, writing articles, streaming, etc., etc. Yeah, cast that would be nice. We are almost halfway through our deck. So. Winning is pretty good. I mean, like, I don't want to say that anyone gets top eight in open, but, you know. Anyone can top in a tournament. Like, you have a good day, you run good. I watched some players who were, like, players from my local store back in the day. You know, we used to all go to PTQs. And, like, a few of my, you know, my friends from the local store who were pretty bad. Like, you know, would just get lucky one week and top eight, top eight the PTQ. You know, these were not easy PTQs. These were eight round, neutral round, like, not easy PTQs, you know? And, um, you know, anyone can have a good day in top eight, in my opinion. Um, but actually winning an event is pretty tough. So, yeah, we're just dead. I mean, I don't know, you know. Um, yeah, that Nissa really, uh, really browned us pretty bad there. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna keep it as is. We could maybe want, like, more of the plays. It kind of really wins us better, so that's fun. Yeah, I would say a win is much more valuable than a top eight. Like a top four versus a top eight, whatever. But actually winning a tournament and holding a trophy and having your picture on the trophy picture, you know, is going to be pretty instrumental if you're looking to get your name out there. Um, case in point, this guy just won the tournament last weekend, and now he has an article on Star City Premium. It's a one-shot deal. You know, Cedric usually will find the person who won the tournament, let him write an article, you know, but if the article goes over well, that could easily turn into a full-time gig, you know? So, winning the event is definitely pretty important. All right, let's win here. Slightly awkward hand, but we're gonna keep it. Gabriel, I don't really agree. Like, the reason Kai is holding such high regard because he has only nine Pro Tour top eights, but he won seven of them. That's insane. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Paulo is obviously insane, but nobody's ever dominated the game like Kai did. And part of that is due to the, you know, the time period he played in because players were a lot worse back then. It was pre-Magic Online. Players had no idea how to draft, you know, and that's, you know, it's sort of like, like Babe Ruth just browning everyone because he's just so much better than everyone. Whereas Babe Ruth, if Babe Ruth played today, you know, he wouldn't be as good, but maybe his regimens are better, so he's still good anyway, but like... There's some of that for sure, but I mean, winning seven out of nine top eights pro tours is just absurd. He's won seven pro tours. Like, I just like, 
It's just a joke. It's not even, it's not even like, you know. All right, we just scatter, so we should hold on to that. Instead of playing search. Long Tusk Cub. Um, we're just gonna counter that. Doesn't feel great. Obviously, we prefer to counter like a, you know, one of the card advantage cards rather than just like Grizzly Bear, Tarmogoyf card, but. Sarcophagus? They showed us two abrades last. Alright, we're gonna cycle. Draw a counter spell, we'll reevaluate. We did not. Yeah, we're just gonna play search and just have out for a turn and let them have at it. They have a planeswalker, we have a cast out. If they have bristling hydra. Let's keep fighting. No sure, yeah, it's obviously I mean obviously yeah, there's a bias there, but oh wow, nothing. What are you doing? Um Yes, like, Finkel is definitely, Finkel's resume is, like, just insane. Like, he had a Hall of Fame career, got in the Hall of Fame, and then has had another Hall of Fame career since. Oh, come on. Which is pretty insane, obviously. Alright, I'm really feeling an abrade here, given that they have not played a creature. They played a tune last turn. Yeah, Finkel's insane. I'm just gonna keep cycling stuff and flip this thing. And we cycle, cycle cast that renewed faith and then bin the card and search flips. What card am I most excited about in Ricks? I'm not sure. I wrote an article that goes up tomorrow on StarCityGames.com all about all the, the good one drops in the set and like tribal stuff. Um, I wrote about Merfolk last week. Um, some cool stuff. Gabriel, I don't know, I don't know, man. <laughs> Alright, Virtuoso's in. It's kind of annoying. That's six cards in the bin. There's Drake Haven, that's a good one. Yes, bin, flip, yes. Azcanta, the sunken ruin. Let's see if we get any gate here. Okay. I mean, now we have Azcanta going, so we're pretty happy just trading one for one on resources. Definitely in the market for a Fumigate or something of that nature, but honestly, one Drake Haven would get things going pretty good here too, honestly. I mean, one Drake or two Drakes can hold off all these Thopters. Opponents playing around, uh, what's it called? Saddle the Wreckage, which is good for us. A lot of value and your opponent's playing around that card when you don't have it. Sweet. Yeah, whatever. Glimmer seems like they're just trying to play my game. They bottom bottomed. All right, fumigate sensor countervailing winds. Um, like negate is definitely possible. I don't particularly want countervailing winds or sensor though. So we'll just pop the negate. Green Fumigate. It's a pretty good draw, because that can help defend our um, thing. We're just going to ship the turn here. Actually, no, we're going to play um, Sarcophagus. They 
They may have a grade. We can defend. Yeah. Mission Renewed Faith. Yeah, we'll defend. We're gonna lose our countervailing wins. I kind of I kind of didn't consider, but it's still fine for us. I'm gonna stop yapping for a minute here and finish this match. I've been talking a lot. I'm, I'm amazed that our opponent's clock is only like two minutes behind ours. But I've been yapping the entire game. Call, I got you. Oh no, this stupid card again. All right, we have cast out now, so. Yeah, only SG tour for the most part. GPs are pretty terrible value. Um, That's a really good draw. That was the best possible draw. Hi, Dutz. Is he gonna run out? Yeah, use your sensor, so. Oh. The answer is yes. Yeah. Obviously, we'd love to, love to cycle it first, but this works out pretty well for us, so. And now they've used two of their negates already, and the two, only have two cards left, so we're probably getting ready to cast our Fumigate, which is nice also. Yeah. Song, See, I show up and everything good happens. Song is always right here. Nope, here. Nope. I always get it wrong. <laughs> I thought about that one too, I was like... I know. Yeah. He took a couple seconds there. Yeah, and still got it wrong. Oh, you got there. Can I see some clocks in chat, please? I don't been talking a lot. We're going to win this game pretty easily. I don't know. I'm not worried. We got... Settle, eh? Alright. I'd like to draw a land off this. I'm going to take the risk. Why does everyone think that Blood Sun is going to be good in Tron? It costs 3 mana. It doesn't do anything. Third negate here, we are probably in trouble, but I'm just here for the fumigates. Unfortunately, we want to draw a land there so we can go settle into fumigate, which we we're not able to do, but gaining six is a nice backup plan. Okay, found land. Can't say go. I'm just always say go, you know. Never do anything. Draw, go. Your favorite. Play some islands, play some planes, draw, go. I now I gotta have two negates. Pretty cool double settling. You have the fourth negate. Yes. Still doesn't matter. You just gain life off of it too now, right? Yeah. Good, life is good. They don't have any other counter spells, do they? I mean, I guess they could, in theory. I don't know what else they could have, but...
You need to find a way to win, so. Our clock is low. Yes. Just talk I to chat and stop any, talking to me. I didn't see any clocks in chat. I'm not talking to chat. I asked chat to put clocks in chat. And nobody put clocks in chat. Probably because you told them to not. I go fast enough, they might clock. I mean, they've got like 45 seconds on you right now. That's a good one. That is a good one. I like that car. Pretty good rate. It is a pretty good rate. I'm surprised. Like they've used a minute, you've used about thirty seconds. You're getting there. Officially ahead on time. It's official? It's official. Keep it that way. I mean, after all that, we're still ahead? Yeah, but now it's your turn. Can't stop, won't stop. You need to talk to chat and reassure them it's gonna be okay. I don't think they're 
worried. I don't think they're as worried as you are. Chad, are you worried? Are you worried? I'm not worried. Poll time. Who and Chad's worried? This life caster's crafter's beast here is going to be the death of them. Yeah. I mean, you know I have it. Maybe they forgot because they're trying to play fast. Yep. Have Maybe fun clicking just... all those lands. They only had... Yeah, they're dead. They're almost down an entire minute. 40 seconds. Don't need any more. Four drakes is more than enough for me. I like that card countervailing one. Good. Very good with the sarcophagus. Oh, the old bristling H. That that complicates things a little bit. We have double renewed fate though. We just kill him in two turns. Nice they have the doctor. Hydra and then, like, in response, can you, wait, can you cast out and then... I could, yes, I could. You could cast out and then when they try to make it hexproof. Yes, that would work, but they have 10 seconds left, so... Sure. That's game! Seems good. There you go. Not game yet. I love eight seconds. I do have eight seconds. <laughs> Five. There's that life four, three, two, Luciary. one. The good thing is that we were gonna win this game anyway. So they timed out, but we had this game in the back. So yes. we can feel good about winning it. Do you feel good? I feel pretty good. Well, yeah, winning by time, but kind of only winning by time. Yeah. All right, that was round one. We were sitting in welcome to the stream. That was round one? Yeah, we, we literally both had two seconds left. Like, what do you expect? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream, <laughs> go to bed. We're no, playing, I'm actually going to um, go upstairs and watch, because you're boring. So I'm gonna let's go, go to sleep, it's midnight for God's sakes. I was going to watch me. I have to put away the groceries. Mm. Okay. What's, what's chat talking about? I haven't uh, been paying attention, obviously. It's the, that there should be a key that's like, you know, like... Uh, say yes to all cards name with the same name or whatever, like trigger. Yeah, that'd be that'd be useful. Do I think anything's get banned in standard? Uh, I I don't think so, but I honestly don't know. Um, I think nothing should. Um, but. How can you say, ew, we're playing the card Drakehaven in our deck, and the card Abandoned Sarcophagus. These are fun magic cards, alright? Yeah, Modern PT is also a pretty big tell as far as not banning anything. Because there's, there's no PT to fix, you know? Like, just Modern, whatever. I think they won't ban anything, and I think it's correct. It is a bad choice among other bad choices. That sucks. Card's real good. I mean, we're probably just going to play into Blossoming Defense here. If they don't have it, it's very good for us. If they do have it, what are you going to do? And we'll save the extra damage if possible. So if they have it, whatever. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely um some pretty serious There's more hate for standard than there should be. 
I don't think standard is like that bad. It's been worse and you know, so this is my deck. This is the deck I should I should have played at the Invitational and didn't because I'm an idiot. Modern's good. Modern can certainly be frustrating at times, but it's definitely a good format right now. Look at these lazy bastards. Look at them. In, 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 in your card. Have a diminished, guys. I don't mean to diminish you, but there's a cat in your cage, and I would go eat it if I were you. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't update my stream decker. Siphoner and Branch Walker? <whistles> Alright, Search for Ascanta is uh, right what we're looking for. The deck is on the stream decker now. They always they always have a banned announcement. There's always the banned and restricted announcement. A lot of times they just they just say nothing changes. Good job, Burnsy. Well done. I have not played energy before. I've actually not registered teamer energy in a tournament. I've played salt eye energy, but not teamer. I played during Cobblade. I think Modern is pretty good right now. Um, I think that, um, that's an easy counter. I think that uh, people also tend to look at things with like very rosy colored glasses, you know, where they look back nostalgically at formats like, oh, I love that, that Jund Thrag Tusk format. That was a great format. But when we were playing it, everyone was like, God, why is Thragged us in every deck? This is so stupid. Ban something. You know? Like. And, like, that's just what magic is. There's always going to be good cards. Always going to be a good deck. You know? Like, that's kind of just how magic works. So. Get used to it. You're playing tournament magic, you know? Like. I look back fondly on Cawblade. I like lost the finals of an Invitational with Cawblade. You know, I won a lot of money with Cawblade, but the deck was broken. It was definitely too good. I think Cawblade was just as good as Teamer is right now, but with better cards in it, like Jace the Mind Sculptor and Stoneforge Mystic. You know, like but when you look back on it. Just like in five years, we're gonna look back and be like, oh man, energy was great, Rogue Refiner was awesome. You know? Yes, the magic community loves to complain. I don't think the magic community likes anything better. Oh. There's no proxy. What is this? What is this? What is this? That's not very nice. What's up, boot? But, like, there's just, like, such a difference between Affinity. Like, Affinity would kill you on turn three. You know, like... Like, Teamer just is, like, a... It's just a good mid-range deck, you know? Like... Yes. Ah, oh, now I misclicked. God damn it. That sucks. It's actually pretty annoying, honestly. It's going to make it difficult to, uh... Flip our search. That's a good draw. I'll take that. We're good. We're good. Yeah, Thrag Tusk should have definitely cost green, green, three. Like, no question. Like, that's just magic, though. There's just gonna be a good, there's gonna be a best deck. You do not want to be a game where you just ban the best deck every week. Like, modern, that has to happen because the decks are actually broken. That's very rarely happens in standard. 
what is this? The old bristles? Alright, well, we got the antidote right here, so. Fumigate in your graveyard. Nah, let's do that, I guess. It's a little easier. Feels pretty good. Ban list comes out on Monday, I believe. My favorite standard deck of all time was my blue-white control deck post Sphinx's Revelation. Uh, the one with Dig Through Time and Jace's Ingenuity. The scrappy one. The one that like no one else played but me. I, but I did very, very well with. Fumigate in the graveyard? Yeah, we're gonna flip search now. It's worth it. Game's over. This next game one against energy is very good. Marple, it's really tough because it's really, really hard. God damn, that card's good. It's really, really hard to justify maintaining a magic online collection when your collection is just constantly going to lose value because of chests you know like like your collection will not retain value and will definitely slowly lose value magic online is just bleeding the value out of all your cards with chests and like it makes nobody want to own anything like I play magic for a living I play magic online for a living hi and I would like to own cards, but I can't justify it because I'm just bleeding value. So instead I have like, you know, card loaning services and stuff. Um, it's pretty frustrating. So we're gonna save cast out here for a second Drake Haven. Now you have renewed faith too, it's pretty good. Actually, we're gonna, that's perfect. Yeah, like, being fluid, Gabriel was definitely annoying, though. What is this? This is a draw to? A cast out? What's up, uh... By all mean. But the problem, Milkman, is... The problems are... That's pretty good. Um, Magic on Magic is too expensive. Correct. I agree. I think lowering the price of cards in any capacity is good for the game. Um... I think Magic's too expensive, and Magic would be a better game if it wasn't as expensive. The problem is that if if everything just lowered and then stayed constant, that would be ideal. Because it's not doing that, and because you're just bleeding value, it makes it so nobody wants to own anything. So, I mean, I own all I, I own all the physical cards. I have a full collection of physical. I, I own all of Standard and a lot of Modern, you know. But on Magic Online. I use, you know, a loan account and a Star City account and stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, chests, again, chests lower the price barrier, which is great, but. Eh, it's take two. Wish there was a reason to reach two year, like a new emote or sub color. There's a there's a two year subscriber badge. I'm turning it on. All right, we're just gonna turn on the gas here. Um, I think modern, like if everyone just could play whatever they wanted, whatever they wanted, modern would definitely be a lot more fluid. Um, people because people can just be like, oh, this deck's cool. I'll play this deck. This is why I want new sub cons. Want new sub emotes? Rar, love you. Turn it on. Thanks, my friend. I got new emotes coming. I got, I got a lot of stuff coming. Everyone, show some love for uh, Returning Dawn. That's a um, a 16 month resub. Damn. Oh look, they conceded. Cool. Close game. Okay, um, this is our Ballista matchup, because we need to kill Lens Sleeve Siphoner. Um, dump two countervailing wins. F 
Fumigate. I think ca cast out's really good. I'll dump a renewed faith. Easiest way to make magic cheaper? Just make everyone quit. Yes, it is... I would say that the monetary component of magic is my least favorite part of the game. I am not a collector. I don't like collecting things. Um, I don't like expensive things. I don't like having money tied up in things. Um, but that's just... Is what it is, you know, and there's definitely benefits to it in that, like, everyone feels very invested, you know, in their cards, and cards are important. Thanks for following, Seth. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, and if you're watching on YouTube, sub. I have a new YouTube channel, check it out. Andre, thanks for watching, my friend. Thanks for the sub, too. I appreciate it very, very much. Cycle, settle, plus done two. It's good. It's a good end. Now is the time to buy gold. Buy your bitcoins! Local stores die if cards were free. Probably. Yeah, it's it's tough. I don't really have a good answer for you. Um the game being the way it is is probably correct as far as like the pricing model. It's just a hard thing to balance well. Nice blister, right? Now, Gabriel, you're right. Like, obviously, like, I'm sure Card Hoarder and the other major Magic Online bots are pretty unhappy about the possible perspective arena pricing plans because there's going to be no secondary market. So they're basically going to go out of that business. You know, so. All right, well. What's up, Seth? Yeah, we're just playing some standard, hanging out, relaxing. We, 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 play, we play all formats on this stream. I'll be playing a lot of standard next week with uh, Rivals over Ixalan. Hi, Sammy. Oh, he's licking his balls. Okay, just take the camera off. I'm sorry, Sammy. Didn't mean to, uh, didn't mean to, uh, you know, put you on the spot there. Shout out to CFG in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm moving to South Carolina. Thanks, Photon. No, for sure. I don't know what's up with Arena. That's, that's, that's its whole other discussion about, like, what they should do with Arena and so on and so forth. I don't want to cycle either one of these, honestly. You know what? I think I might actually just upkeep. No, I don't want to give him a chance to draw a card. Just fire off Cast Out here. It's, it's pretty likely to eat in a gate. Actually, let's wait. It's a real difficult song and dance to make magic cards the right price. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with Arena. It feels more like duels than magic. I'm on the Arena beta. I've played it a bit. I am not a big fan. First impression. Um, Arena's supposed to be like free to play. You can't trade cards. It's very it's it's Hearthstone basically. Okay, they're leaving, they're leaving, leaving up the gate and they're not going to play anything relevant. We're going to cast Illumination, and we'll figure out this Dark Confidant problem a little bit later. Fumigate. I definitely don't want to cast. Well, now. I think we're actually in the market to just resolve the sarcophagus. They're going to negate it and we'll censor back. Yeah, it's definitely duels 2.0. Oh, look, gotcha. Almost like you did exactly what I said you would do.
I mean, McCullough, were you saying it looks like crap? Were you being constructive? Like, come on, you know, like... Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to play Hearthstone. I want to play Magic. I want a client like this that actually works. I want Poker Stars. I want a crisp, clean interface that works perfectly, easy to find a game, easy to use. I want Poker Stars. Give me Poker Stars. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fumigate. Chuckles, I agree. It's magic is a difficult game to make into a computer game. You know? At Dark Off, I don't drew them three extra cards. What's this? Uh, -huh. uh that's bad for us. I miss Poker Stars so much. I mean, this this interface isn't that bad, all things considered. Like, if things worked better, you know, be one thing. But for the most part, Magic Online is reasonable. All right, that Varaska was brutal because Sarcophagus was a big part of our plan. We had four car four extra cards in the graveyard. And many more are coming. They still have five cards available. We're probably going to want some negates. Don't Varaska me again. Oh my god. Alright, I mean... Okay, that's a, that's a something. Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with the statement that Arena looks like duels. And the thing is, that, like, it's not a bad thing. I think Magic Duels was one of the best things to happen to Magic in the last five, five, ten years. So many new players started playing Magic, or pl started playing Magic again because of duels. Um, just easy, clean, fun to play, not too complicated, just a fun, easy version of Magic. Totally cool. But you can't sell me that as the competitive product. All right, I mean, let's see what happens here. We need to find a second cast out to deal with this Faraska and have them not have an answer to it. Contempt. All right. Okay. I mean, that's what we're looking for. How about no negate? If a negate, it might just pack it up. Okay, they don't. We got a game now. Yeah, it is insane that Magic Online makes so much money and they just don't make it good because they don't have to. Baffling End? I don't know what Baffling End is. It's not bad. 
Also good. Um, let's do this with the intention of settling. Oh, I haven't. I have not played a single Rivals over Ixalan. I keep saying over Rivals of Ixalan card yet. That card is like fine. It's fine. Sorcery speed. Yeah, I mean, Wiz Wizards has proven over the years, for the most part, that they're pretty much only good at designing magic. Yeah, whatever. Two for one, sure. It's not even two for one, but I'll kill your two creatures. Now, hopefully they slam, like, a Hydra here, too. And we just... Fumigate them. Yeah, I'm mean, being a, a sorcery speed removal spell is a little rough. Although it, it is kind of cute with um, uh, ascend. You play like four cast outs and four um, of like that card. It's a lot of extra permanence for ascend, and that land is really really good. I think. Um, they could have a negate here. Are we dead if they? We have two settles. I'll leave the little side alone. I think that land is pretty good. It's like a, a colorless land, tap five, draw a card if you have Ascend, or a City's Blessing or whatever it is. Um, that card's pretty good. I like that card a lot, actually. So you could maybe do something with like a... If they have two negates here, we're dead. Yeah, we're super dead. I guess we couldn't beat two negates anyway, so. Mofo, thanks for watching, my friend. Get some sleep. Get some sleep, you mofo. Alright, that worked. And they've already, we've already dealt with both Faraskas. If they have three, we are in trouble, but... Don't think they're going to, so. We're gonna cycle this now. Need to draw a search for Ascanta or Sarcophagus. Yes. Blue white for days. Eh. Obviously, a little weird with a fumigate in her hand, but. I'll draw a search, I'll play it. Sarcophagus. That I really want to resolve. There's no way they have a counter spell, so we're just going to slam that. Maple, or Marple says, next card to invest in. Alright, Monastery Mentor. It's like nine bucks right now. I think. Really, really good magic card. There you go. That's my, that's my pick. Yeah, Search for Raskin is obviously insane. Oh, they, they had Push for Raskin's Contempt. Why do they push in their deck post board? Ooh, Gonti's a pretty good draw. Not gonna lie. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Tch. I'm sorry you watch yourself. Take a deuce. So we have Illumination, Sensor, Sensor as our Yagamoth Will cards. I just think Monster Mentors, Mentors are a really good card. Um, one of my stream viewers, Power Slide, I played a, a deck for. Oh, I didn't do the, 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 the donate, the, um, the, this thingy. Uh, Jay, you still here? I'm sorry, my friend. I, I didn't do your deck tech. That's a tilt. Let's draw some cards. Um, I was playing like a blue-eyed control deck for my for my for a power slot my sub on stream. Played mentor. Mentor's just a good card. Oh crap! They hit a gear Hulk. They're so lucky. 
That's like so bad. That's not that bad for us, actually. They counter this, we cast Fumigate. Could be worse. Everyone shows some love for Chaos021. Resubscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. What's that? 10 months? Nice. Last chance. I'm sorry, my friend. Just yell. If you're your new sub, please just yell at me. I'm very forgetful, and I, I'm definitely apt to forget about things. Just you're, If I forget you, just be like, hey, deck tech. And I'll be like, I'm sorry. And I'll do it. Deck tech after this match. Alright, well, obviously not great for us, but not that bad either, so... Nicole, go to sleep. You have work tomorrow. You also have to wake John up tomorrow for school, because I'm going to be really tired. Farm to market. Alright, so... Here we are. Any cycling card, and we are like, oh, I should have held that for market. Oops. Last chance I got you, my friend. All new subs get a free deck tech, and we're gonna do last chances right after this. I don't need to go to bed. I'm at work right now. I got three more matches to play. This is going up on the YouTubes. I gotta finish it. 17 energy? Take it easy. Cycler? Planes. Okay, you know, just sit here forever. It's not a big deal. South Carolina, when, why, um, I'm moving in July. Nicole and I and John. We bought a foreclosed house in Okatee. It's near Hilton Head. And it's a beautiful house, but we gotta do a lot of work on it. John has to finish his school year. So we're moving down in July. Jim is a big boy, and since his job is playing video games, he can work as long as he wants. Thanks, Gabriel. Too late to go to bed. Early tomorrow. This is fun. I guess it's good that they're drawing lands, too, so we'd be dead if they drew a spell in the last four turns. Where is a pummeler when you need one? Uh, John Seven. If you missed it, we did a John and Jim show today. Me and him do a, a stream show where we play um, retro video games. We are playing Bubble Bobble today, the old NES classic. Tron does dump on Abzan. If I was going to a 1K with mostly burn, Tron, or Affinity, what deck would you play? Whatever deck you're comfortable with. Play your deck in Modern. Just play whatever deck you're comfortable with and you know best. Yes, Pummeler would be huge. Thankfully, we, we found a target for this because now we can flash it back and make drakes and do, do cool stuff. Uh, we gotta counter that because we, we need this uh, farm to market. Tilt. That's kind of a big pain in the ass, actually, because we actually really need that, uh, that farm to market. Um, I mean, we could just draw Cycler, too. That'd be cool. We've drawn all lands, basically, but... I don't think... Well, Slaka, we, 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 play, we play together. Here, check it out on my YouTube. It's on there. Oops. Cycler? That's... I've seen worse than that. I've seen worse. So real quick, my YouTube channel. Check it out. Bam. Magic videos. Standard. Modern. Other formats. Fun magic stuff. What's going on here? Fun magic stuff. My band playing. All my feature matches. All my deck decks. The John and Jim show. Magic Pro, Starcraft Pro, and other stuff too. My old SEG videos. But yeah, John and Jim show is pretty sweet. So you hang out and just play video games, it's a lot of fun. So check it out. Alright, uh, four, eight, two, all right. the max.
There you go. Thanks for following. 7-7 seven, seven Blister. Ravenous Chupacabra will go into energy. Not sure. Imagine if that was Sphinx's Revelation. Why do you have Fatal Push in your deck? Alright, whatever. Not sure why they have Fatal Push in their deck, but they do, so... At least we killed the dinosaur. Uh, Azor seems kind of loose. I want to cast Sphinx's Rev on my on their end step, not my attack step. Sensor? Why would my opponent have Sensor in their deck? That's just insane. Can you draw like a spell, please? That's even better. Sensor. This one we're just looking for a search for Ascanta, so we're kind of fine just main deck uh, or main phase uh, doing stuff. That's cool. Sure, it's good. Story Towers is pretty cool. I like this band. Good local band. That's their second fatal push, by the way. They killed a Drake earlier. Yeah, I mean, Chupacabra is really good with Scarab God. Um, not totally sure what to make of that card. I agree with a lot of what Patrick Sullivan said about it. I'm really looking forward to Standard in like a year and a half, when the new design team really gets into it. You know, Tom Ross, Michael Majors, all those guys are so smart. I think that um, they're going to do a really good job. What's up, EDC? You know when your opponent's just like really, really dead? I know. That's a, that's a, that's a host seer. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate that. Go, Drakes. Oh my god. Opponent's clock still lower than mine. I've been yapping and talking and babbling the entire time. Their clock's still lower than mine. Holy crap, dude. Um, you can't hypno yourself because with this thing in play, any card that would cycling that you put in your graveyard, if you didn't cycle it, is exiled. It doesn't work. So. 2-0. Folks just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Ryan out playing some standard. This deck's pretty fun. Um, it's also pretty good, honestly. It's a Drake Haven control deck, sort of like Blue Eyed Approach, but we're playing Drake Haven instead. And more importantly, Abandoned Sarcophagus, which is a permanent Yagmoth's will. Let's you recast all your illuminations and cast outs and renewed fates and countervailing winds. The deck's pretty sweet, and we're 2 0. Deck tech. See? Thank you. See? Thank you. Deck tech time. Nicole, go to sleep. So, all new subs get a free deck tech to the stream. We got a new sub today. First sub of the day, Last Chance PR. This is Last Chance PR's Grixis mid-range deck. First glance, there's no force in the main deck or sideboard. Definitely gonna be a problem. Just throwing that out there, first impression. Um, we got two Aetherborn, three Siphoner, two Champion, an Obstructionist, three Virtuoso, one Gandhi, two Hostager, one Vizier, two Glorybringer, two Scarab God, two Gear Hulk, uh, two Liliana, two Unsummon, two Abraid, two Sensor, three Lightning Strike, two Supreme Will, two Veracity Contempt. Okay, so we have kind of a Grixis mid range deck here. We are blue for Champion of Wits, Obstructionist, Virtuoso, Vizier, Taker, Gear Hulk, a lot of, lot of blue. We're, um, good amount of black too. We're mostly light and red for Abraid, Lightning Strike, Glorybringer, and Virtuoso. Um, this, as you would expect from a deck that's, um, 
that's uh has no four ofs we're definitely lacking focus here um we're kind of like playing a lot of cool cards here a lot of cool cards there or i'm not necessarily bringing them all together uh energy as is the problem with it in um in a uh, in standard and in general is a very parasitic mechanic it only works with other energy cards you know so you're incentivized to want to put a bunch of energy cards in your deck um so cards like world of virtuoso um get a lot better when you're playing other energy cards too right now we only have three hubs we have a couple siphoners but we're better off maxing out you know four siphoner four virtuoso harness lightning over lightning strike pretty easy swap for four harness lightning now yeah now we at least have a little package that makes sense um so i like the, the mini energy package um also our mana is a little rough here i mean we have two aetherborns we're not really like trying very hard to cast aetherborn on two you know we have three spire bluffs we have ramanap ruins we have mountains islands you know a lot of cards that can't cast this card on turn two uh spire bluff, spire bluff in particular as an early land that you want to play early but can't cast this card so same thing when we want to decide if you want to play Gifted Aetherborn or not play Gifted Aetherborn. Are we going to make our mana base black heavy so we can support this card or not? We need to decide one or the other and then just do it. Playing two is not really... You're, you're too much at the risk of what you're drawing the right cards and the wrong cards and stuff. Um, there are some good value cards here. I do think the Champion of Wits is a little out of place in this deck. We're not really using our graveyard in any major way aside from the Scarab God, which is just a good card anyway. And I guess Liliana, but... As a value card, it's not particularly good. It's just kind of like, okay. Um, Obstructionist is also pretty weak. Uh, I think Gante is great. I think Hostage Taker is great. I think Vizier is great. But you can only play so many fours, but they're all quite good. Um, Glorybringer is obviously good. Scarab God's great. Treadrill Gear Hulk is not very good in this deck. Um, Unsummon is also not very good. We have You play Unsummon when you can't kill things because you're mono blue or something, or blue green. You play kill spells when you're playing black and red. So, no one summons are necessary. Um, more braids. Contempt is good. Gearhawk is only really good if it's flashing back for Asus Contempt. Anything else is not really worth it. Um, Supreme Will is okay, and then like Lightning Strike and stuff just isn't very good. Without a draw two or some big spell to cast, not big on Gearhawk. So, get better removal in here. Um, focus more and more four ofs. Focus more on what you want to do. Want to cast a card on turn two? Make your mana base, do it, and cast four. Play four of them. Want to play energy cards? Play more of them. Four Siphoner, four Virtuoso, four Harness Lightning. Easy. Fatal Push has a place for sure. Um, you can also decide if you, want to, if you want to be red or not in this deck. I think that being like just blue-black mid-range is a very good place to be as well. Um, that's a choice you need to make. Um, Liliana's fine, but not great. And we're not really bringing back anything crazy. I'm not a, a huge fan of this card. Cyborg, Dress is great, Spray is great. Crook is probably not necessary. Um, Negate is great, Reckoning is fine, Doomfall is good, Suns is hard to cast, Taker is good. Cyborg's mostly reasonable. Uh, mana's rough in uh, three colors in standard. Um, a card like Ramanap Ruins is probably going to hurt you more than help you. Um, I'd probably play the full sets. Uh, I'd probably just go eight Cycle Lands and eight Ixalan Lands and start from there. And then play four hubs for playing energy and then not play them over not play them. Um, and go from there. And that's basically it. Questions, comments, concerns, I'd be happy to answer them. This is a free deck tech for um, our new sub. Um, where'd you go? Last chance. Last chance. If any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. All new subs get a free deck tech just like that one. We're currently at 99 subs. Just throwing that out there. You can be sub number 100. Um, yeah. It's also a good thing to do. Um, I know people are sometimes adverse to like net decking. Like a dirty word shouldn't be but um don't be shy about looking at deck lists even for ideas for your deck there are definitely like blue black mid-range decks on uh, mtg goldfish that are feature many of the similar cards to the deck you're playing but are obviously a little more refined you can you can look at them to get ideas um for example something like this grixis mid-range or this is a Grixis mid-range deck. Kind of like the deck you're playing, honestly. Just a little more focused. Um, a little fo more focused on gear hulk, better removal. It is playing some draw twos. This is a pretty cool uh, pretty cool list here. 
And of course, you can just go straight blue-black, which is more of a control deck. That works as well. So, the problem is that you only want to be playing tempo cards. Like, Fatal Push is just better tempo than Unsummon. You just kill the creature. Tempo cards are important for when you are actively trying to push tempo and you don't have other options to do so. You know, I'd rather pay one more mana and Harness Light in the creature and kill it for good than bounce it once. If you're playing Unsummon, you need other ways to gain the card advantage back. So for example, I have a Ninja of the Deep Hours, and I Unsummon your creature, attack for two, and then whenever it deals damage, you draw a card. And you're kind of like, Unsummon, draw a card, Unsummon, draw a card, doing, the, doing this little like tempo dance. Then you're doing good things. If you're just playing a mid-range deck, Unsummon is not a good, it's not, you're not playing tempo, you're playing mid-range. Um, and Nibble Obstruction just, just kind of sucks, honestly, it's not a good card. So it's basically a three one flash flyer that dies to everything. So there's better cards you can play. Well, that's the thing. Salt Eye Pummeler is not trying to gain card advantage; it's just trying to kill you. So if they unsummon your guy and then untap and larger from life kill you, that's the best kind of tempo because they're dead. See a last chance. Any particular questions, I'd be happy oh, to answer them. Crap, Thanks for following B-Love. And if you'd like a deck tech just like that one, subscribe. It's easy as that. Why are our opponents so hesitant to play against us? Yeah, I mean, unsummoned to save your threat is usually worse than just playing another threat. Doomfall main deck is not really a good idea. It's pretty bad against a lot of the decks in the format. Um, Gifted Aetherborn, you can play the card main, but you need to alter your mana base to make sure you can always cast it on turn two. Um, I feel like it's probably the energy package or Gifted Aetherborn, not both. Gifted Aetherborn feels like more of a, um, that's a tough one. From the, from the play, I mean, We obviously need a way to like get ahead here, because we're, we're down two cards in the play. And search is a great way to do that, and filter our draws. We have to, we have to obviously find a blue source to cast it. We do have double cycles. This is a pretty tough one. Panther says keep. If we're on the draw, I'd be more, I'd be more inclined to keep it on top. We are the play, so we don't have a second land drop here, and we're ensuring we don't draw a land next turn. I think we're going to keep it. We might just never draw an island and die, but I think it's our best chance of winning on five cards here on the play. Yeah, I would say around 18 is reasonable. I think someone said 18. Risk it for the biscuit. That's one of the oldest inhabitants Fetid pools. All right, so give me that glacial fortress. It's bad. Okay. I think my record of those 80 years may be interesting to those who mm. have the opportunity and chance of hearing my voice. Yes, I would play full play sets of Cycle Lands and Buddy Lands. I think. But what I will say is this. I want to say that. Yeah, let's play with those. It's. We're kind of assuming they're playing a, a, a control mirror. We're not sure. They could be a mid-range deck, but initial thought is they're playing a control deck. I should have played this. Yeah, I think 18 to 20 is reasonable. In any sort of control mirror, we're very interested in playing our deserts because our, one of our main our main win conditions is just just decking them. I'm gonna hold search. 
All right, yeah, they're definitely a control deck. So. Island? No. Tilt. Let's try and draw an island there. I didn't cycle because if we drew an island, we could, we could cast search. They disallow, and we sent to the disallow and resolve our search. Oh, they have field to run anyway. Alright, so field's not. Field means our search doesn't matter anymore, so. We're trying to cast it. Super thrilled about cycling always cast outs, but countervailing winds is interesting. We're gonna hold on to that one. They're definitely thinking about casting Glimmer right now. I don't think it'd be a very good idea because they have seven cards in their hand. Most have to discard anyway. So yeah, that's a bad one. Well, I almost want them to use their Field of Ruin because it will uh, free up my rivulet. This is our wing condition right here. This is how we're going to win the game. So. Fortunately, we've mulliganed five and drawn a settle, a fumigate, and a farm to market, which is pretty bad. We basically mulliganed to about three, but. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. I mean, the thing is that, like, you don't need to cast Gifted Aetherborn on turn two. It's still an effective card on turn three or four. It's not like you're playing Goblin Pilot. I guess that's, that's a bad example. It's not like you're playing Long Tusk Cub. You know, like, you're just going to straight, straight Scarab God here. All right, whatever. Just gonna turn on all my stupid removal spells. No. Drake Haven is the exact card we want. Because once it's in play, they can't remove it. And that's basically the game. I really hate these ugly invocation things. Five ball. Yes, planes can go in the graveyard. Don't need that one. Rivulet. All right. Now we're cooking a little bit. Again? When were they great in the first place? Gonna gear elk? It's not, oh, that's that's bad. This is actually terrible for us. This is an un unmitigated disaster. Um, so we counter this, they just like Gear Hulk. I mean, they just, I guess whatever it is, what it is. They can just Scarab got it. Yeah, I just don't like any of these things. I'm just not the target audience for these kind of, kind of things. Alright, so obviously they can just like Scarab got the Gear Hulk here. Which sucks, but I mean they obviously have a counter spell for settle and we're just gonna die. So
I mean, we have almost no way to win. I mean, they, we just mulliganed a little too much this game. And we, the thing is, I, normally I would not cycle these so aggressively in this matchup. Uh, if, we, if we had one here, I could have just cast it when they cast the Scarab God. It would be a joke, but we had to cycle them looking for lands. So that's basically just going to be the game. Um, eh, just cast Fumigate. Just die. Die with a little dignity here. Okay. Good matchup for us overall, I think. Obviously, mulling, mulling to five is not really ideal, but... So we, um... I'm gonna cut most of this stuff. We want those. Renewed Faith is gone. We want Negates, these things. We want this thing. We want these Gearhawks. We want these Karakals. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Um... It's an argument for leaving in some amount of Settle the Wreckage, but I don't think we really need it. Curator of Mysteries? No. That card is not very good. Gonna lean on our four cast outs. Uh, farm to Market deals with Gear Hulk well enough. And then um, four cast outs for Scarab Gods. We also have Essence Scatter, which is obviously very efficient. Possible that they'll have um, the Dark Confidant. That would be a little annoying. We can reevaluate for Ballistas for Game 3 if that's the case, but still a far in the market there too, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we was a land on top of our deck. That's good. I'm going to ship the... Uh... Desert of a True, like I said, we're highly incentivized to play those for a late game. Most games don't end like that, but... Okay. I'm gonna look for a good spot to play this Sarcophagus. Land drop? Good. Good, good, good. Good land drop, too. Essence scatter? Not great. We want one more land drop. Try to force through this uh, sarcophagus. And once that's in play, we are in pretty good shape. <sighs> Annoying, but okay. Thanks for following, uh, Kami Kami? 95. Okay. I think we're inclined to just wait a turn. Could be a turn just to slam the Karakal. And like they counter, they counter it. I don't really care. Playing around sensor is like a little nice. Um, I don't want them cast. Yeah, just wait. Whatever. We're fun. It's a little annoying to have to get to play these cycle lands and we have to make our land drops. I'd obviously prefer to play regular lands. Alright, so they cast Glimmer here. I think we're gonna negate this. I don't usually counter the card draw spells, but... What's up, Charison? Obviously, Mulligan and we're on the play, so we're already behind cards. 
Yeah, I'm gonna negate this. I'm not thrilled about it, but we have Scatter Negate for their turn. We're trying to push the sarcophagus through. Um, search for Ezcanta. All right, we'll attempt to negate that. Okay. Not great for us, but all right. So now you have the option of Caracal or Sarcophagus. We're gonna Caracal. We've hit the uh, Haymaker stage of the Control Mirror. They have the advantage in cards and card advantage, so we're just gonna play a a way to win the game and hope it's good enough. Um, they also have Essence Scatter if they try and slam a Scarab God or Gear Hulk, which is nice. So we're ahead on board, and they need they need to deal with this before they can do anything else. Gifted Aetherborn. That is a somewhat annoying way to deal with our stuff. Okay. We're a mana short of going sarcophagus. Oh, no, no, not on the gate anymore, I'm an idiot. Maybe I should have scattered that. It feels so bad though. Kept their card on top and didn't make a land drop. That's a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, actually, we're, we're one short of being able to um, have this with Counter Valley Winds back up, so we're gonna hold on to it. Kitty Cats. Resolve it. Let's. With search and looming, it's pretty hard for us to be too patient. Like they have like counterspell negate here. It's sort of like, all right, and we'll just try for Krakul next turn and hope it's good enough. Um, new set's cool. I have an article tomorrow. Um, I wrote about uh, all the one drops in the set. I think the tribal stuff is going to be much more reasonable. Um, will it compete with energy? I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're in. This is a pretty big turn for us. Um, as long as this next turn doesn't go that badly, I think we are a pretty heavy favorite this game. Um, we now have two countervailing wins in our graveyard. So we have an extra two counter spells with our sarcophagus, as well as a Karakul, and as well as any cycling card we draw, obviously being insane. So it's kind of weird they wouldn't flip there. I'm not gonna lie. Like the card Baral, Baral's good. Baral is pretty good. Um, Baral is a very powerful card in control mirrors anyway, because it makes all the spells cheaper, obviously. But blocking these one ones is actually a pretty big game at the moment. Let's farm it. Think they'll counter it? I don't know. Just do it. We're not ready to um play Karaku. I just wanted to have one more land so I can counter Valley Winds back up. Wasn't really my intended use of farm, but it's uh it's fine. 
Cool. If they slam Scarab God, we'll figure it out. You know, we're, we're behind. You know, we're not really in a spot where like, the longer this game goes on, we're mulligan, we're on the play, we're down on cards. And here we are. Sure. You know, and they have Search about to flip, so we're... The long game is not ours, so it's the impetus is on us to make more aggressive plays. Make them have it a little bit. Aether Rub. It's interesting. Land. It's not bad. It's, it's a turn late, unfortunately. But... I mean, Sarcophagus is very good. So... And they can't remove Sarcophagus because they're playing blue-black. I don't think they play any bounce spells, so... Um... I don't think we're really in the market for a market. Could be... Yeah, let's do it, I guess. We'll still have countervailing winds up. Alright, you have a pitch these two lands. Spell Pierce is not going to be great at this point in the game. Usually best for just forcing through a early Sarcophagus or Drake Haven for winning a counter war, but... Uh, McCall, thanks for, thanks for uh, watching my friend. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you follow, of course. But I think we're kind of a, the aggro right now, so we're gonna have to let that one fly. Interesting. I mean, we probably just cast out this. I kind of want to save this cast out for a Scarab God. I mean, this thing's worth so many cards, obviously. Um, and we didn't draw a land again. I mean, we could have kept one of the planes over the spell piers, but I felt like keeping a land there was a little, a little loose. Welcome aboard. Cycle this. It's pretty good. All right, we have our own cards. We're good. They have a ton of ways to draw cards, but. That's pretty good, too. Alright. If they counter this, I think I'm okay with it. I don't think I'll fight over it. Yeah, we're this is not the game we want we're gonna we're gonna be playing this game. I'm okay with this. Um That also was a was a Essentially a, a, a discard spell too, because it allowed them to not cast Ascanta. Allowed them to not activate Ascanta or Bloodfast. I think is a win for us. So What's up, Joe? How's it going, my friend? <sighs> uh, did I screw up and not cast this? Oh my god. Did I did I four mana up? I'm such an idiot. I screwed up, didn't I? No, I did. I, I had three. Alright, we're good. Um four, three. The Phoenix is pretty good. I like it. Not the ideal time to cast it, but gonna make some land drops. Or you're drawing a card off it, so if they want, they want to negate this, then sure. Yeah, Burnsy's kind of had it.
Orange and his brother are sleeping. Glimmer? Why would they cast? I feel like casting Glimmer here is like, it's fine, but Sensor countervailing winds doesn't really do anything. All right, sure, Glimmer away. Oh, the four three is good. Um, it's the kind of card that it's good against decks that can't ignore it. All right, well you've I have a lot of cards, my friend. See what they do here. Yes, this is our, our, our primary win condition for sure. All right, we're gonna fight. This is, this is as far as we're fighting them. They counter again, they can have it. Okay. Alright. See, I mean, this is... Yeah, this is Spell Pierce. It's gonna be hard to find a better spot than that. They could have just activated Escanta or Bloodfast. Yeah, I mean, I agree. They they can field our uh, our search. Cost mana to do. It also, again, defends our, our Ruby Lash, which is the important part. This is the real important card. That's how we're going to win. Uh, no. We're going to draw that one. Countervailing Winds is really, really good. Uh, I should have pop. Eh, and nah, we're going to get at least one Ascan to activation out of this. Never mind. That's fun. Cats going coast to coast? It could. It very well could. So we now have... Alright, so there's our, our cue to do that. Get a card out of it. Not a great card, but it's a card. We also lost a rivulet at the bottom of our deck. It's kind of annoying, but... Oh, I should have actually stacked that. I'll say, we're shot by Never mind. I'm an idiot. Only drawn two of our deserts. We have a grand total of six deserts. All right, they're going to use their own Ascanta, which is fine. They tapped their black, so they can't use this. Which is kind of weird. All right, they have a negate, which is annoying, but that's life.
Another brawl? God, brawl's so good. Alright, whatever. They have a brawl. Let's just fire away here. Got to keep this cat going, you know? Alright. We could tap down. We're not going to. Alright. Now, nah, ooh, that's a good one, too. Okay. It's time. Nice negate. Essence scatter. Alright. Once again, this card's just so good. Varaska's Contempt. No! Not the kitty cat. Don't do it. <gasps> Another caracal? This is fun. Good control mirror. Nikki? What, the, the Dark Hobbitant? Glenn Sleeve Siphoner? Disallow my Karakal. Okay. The thing is that, like, that's just a distraction. This is the wing condition, so... Oh, Bolus? That's... That's possible. Kitty, no! Bolas. And they have a disallow. They have disallow and negate. Burnsy would have loved that. Burnsy hates cats. That's his natural predator. That's a good draw. I'm just kind of chilling, I guess. We have a... Uh, no cyclers at the moment. We don't really have anything to get, to get back with our gear hulk, honestly. Like, what are we getting back? There's no card draw spells. Just counter spells. Everyone's wait, whatever. We'll draw our deserts eventually. Yes. This is game two. We are down a game, so we're going to try and speed up a little bit. But Yeah. Cycle sensor, got it. Opponent's not even activating Escanta anymore. I can do this all day. Glimmer of Genius, sure. Actually, I might have a good spot to Gear Hulk, actually. Might have a mistake there. I guess I don't really care. I 
guess it's cool to have Ascanta and Bloodfast and just never actually do anything. Countervailing wins. It's likely. We should draw Drakehaven too. We haven't drawn Drakehaven. Any Drakehavens, we've only drawn two deserts. And there's 14 cards left in our deck. Search for Ascanta. They already have one. Um, I just really want to cast a Gearhulk for something. Make them do stuff. Like, I know they have Negate and Disallow. I just want them to use their spells. Especially disallow, so we can we can properly rivulet them. It's pretty sick though that we actually have four deserts and three Drake Havens and our our fourteen cards left. Like they already have a disallow. They have a disallow and a gate in the end. You know, you're never gonna resolve the approach. You don't you don't want that. Torrential gear. Right, now 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 it's on. This is great. All right, so we're gonna... Actually, I wanna save Essence Guide over Scarab God. I think this is actually okay. Eh, it doesn't matter, maybe. What do we have? A bunch, actually we just make countervailing wins. Never mind, we're good. We have these sensors in the graveyard too. If we can get those, get those going, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the goal here was literally just to get Torrential Gear Oak into play. All right, thank God. We drew another, another review lit. All right, so now we have two fronts. We have the kill you in two turns on the ground front, and we have the review lit front. Now they're going to ask Kanta. Cool. We also have three counter spells. We have three hard counters in our graveyard, essentially, for three mana each. Alright, you're four. Play your own gear oak. Gear oak. This allow. Alright, we are going to countervailing winds that. No, we also have sensors in our graveyard still. So negate. So we can go sensor. Stack. We are winning this game every way but time. We are going to deck them and kill them with combat damage next turn. I think we win game three now, because obviously time is going to be a of the essence scatter. Mm. 
Never seen that one before. So now either they have a second Scarab God, we just mill them out with Ripper Butt and kill them, so. Sure. Thanks for following. Clock is uh sliding in. Right, what's this gear all gonna do? Attempt or something? It's not often that the gear hole that the, that the uh, scarab god creature is smaller than it actually is, you know. Perfect. And that should be the game, right? It's not exactly, but. I cast that, dude. I'm dumb. Whatever. I guess they have this anyway. This just, just doesn't matter. They have two cards in their deck. They're trying to deck. They can't kill me in two turns. I'm gonna F6 for the rest of the game. And not waste our clock. Oh, because you're a Drakehaven. Ten cards left in our deck. We draw our first Drakehaven. Still fine, though. I guess I could just reveal with them. Sure, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just trying to save time. Alright. Um, so they showed us two Brawls. Which is a little annoying. And the 2 3 Lifelinker. Which is also, like. Not, you know, it's kind of annoying. Um. I'll leave it as is, though. I mean, it's possible on Ballista, actually. It's a non-creature way. I mean, they have Essence Scatters. Um, it's going to be a pretty fast-paced game, given that uh, our clocks are both low, so we'll uh, be looking for an early Drake Haven, if possible. That's an aggressive. Good man. All right, they have, a, they have less than a minute more than me. Not Roland. Eh, maybe not, actually. Okay, no search is good for us. Yeah, but, uh... <sighs> Nothing to censor on three, usually. Definitely have the uh, creatures here. They're a pretty interesting match. Yes, I agree. All right, they missed the land drop. Which is pretty big. Let that resolve. I mean, we're we're in slam jam mode right now. 
how we counter this, but we have a million other things to uh, to play, so. Geek Fortress. That's a nice host. Geek Fortress. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that very, very much. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing some blue-white cycling. Uh, we're 2-0 in this league. We're in game 3 in a, a control mirror here. And we're, um, we're having fun. What's up, Kobe? Right, our clock is a concern. We're in slam jam mode. Show me scatter. Or sensor, that'd be bad. Thanks, Kobe. What's up, Red Baron? What's up, my friends? Ooh, that's a good one. Alright, ship it. Double counter spell back up. Bring it. This is the card that they can't beat. And now it's in black. We didn't draw any of them in game two. We had 10 cards left in our deck, and we didn't draw one Drake Haven. We decked them with Regulates, so. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go! Main phase everything! Draw Cycler. That works. Gear Hulk is a very good last card to have. Question is, how are we going to use it? That's aggressive. Right now, we're going to draw cards. Draw some cyclers. They can't beat our Drake Havens. I have never countered a Jace with a Jace's defeat, though. No. The buzz on mouse clicks? I don't know. Ain't nobody got time to worry about that. Contempt, sure. Hmm. It's actually pretty funny. Just need to draw a cycler and we'll be good to go. Lock the death touch creature with everything. Well, they're only at 36, but I think we have the tools right now to, to finish this one off. I'm not gonna lie.
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Couldn't find them last game. Found them all this game. Hulk, don't care. Eighteen, book it. <sighs> All right, sorry folks, had to uh, focus there a little bit at the end. The clock was a little uh, ticking. We lost game one, do a mulligan to five, and uh, took him to school. Otherwise, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Good time to tune in. That was an exciting game. Uh, if you haven't followed the stream, welcome. Make sure you follow the stream, of course. We're three and zero in this league with this pretty awesome Drake Haven deck. And uh, thanks, Man of Warrior. And um. Whew, I felt good. I like that one. One game two via decking. Um, a lot of our mirror, a lot of our control matchup plan is just the rivulet and the two extra deserts. Decked him game two, and then uh, draked him game three. Yeah, but it's Vissard, It's definitely true. But if you draw your Drake Havens, you can close the game a lot quicker than having to deck them. But either plan works. So yes, thank you for watching. Um, yes, yeah, so make sure you follow. If you're watching on YouTube, follow on YouTube. I have a cool new YouTube channel. Pretty new. It's a few months old, but I'm working on it a lot. Check that out. Um, and subscribing as well. We're at 99 subs right now. So, looking for 100. You sub to the stream, you get a free deck tech. You get all my awesome emotes. And of course, subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer. It's my full-time gig. This is what I do for a living. I stream here on Twitch. Write articles on StarCityGames.com. Coming out tomorrow. And, um... Also coach, and I'm on Team M Team BCW, and um, yeah, this is what I do. Uh, Kobe, the playlist you see below in the Twitch info is not this playlist. This is actually my, my copyright playlist. Um, I don't want to get muted on YouTube or Twitch, so this is mostly lowercase noises and other independent artists. Uh, my usual playlist is more not independent, so... Um, Ballista is there to kill specifically Bomac Courier and uh, the Dark Confidant. Alright, Teamer again. Beat Teamer in round one. Chain of the Rocks is pretty cool. Ah, uh, whatever. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Same card. You know what I mean. Now, I mean, my band uh, PLMB, my old band from many years ago, used to have a song called Type 607, and the chorus was na 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 my, uh, my my current band just released uh, an EP. Let's uh, censor this. My band's called Teach Me Human. EP's called On The Fence. Five song EP. You listen to it for free on Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, etc. That link in the chat. Yeah, you only need three Drake Haven. Your, your, your goal is not to play Drake Haven on turn three. Uh, you, you don't want a Haven Flood. Check it out. My band's new album. You guys want to hear a song off the new album? I can play that. It's copyright free. Who wants to hear a song off my band's new album? If I see five hearts from five different people in chat, I'll play a, a song from my band's new album. Uh, we don't play live that much. We're pretty busy, unfortunately. Yes, I, I play bass and sing backups. I gotta see five hearts from five different people. 
Alright, that's five. Give me a second, and I'll, I'll load it up for you guys. But keep putting hearts, I like that, it makes me smile. Makes me feel loved. Ooh, a bleeding heart. Alright, so let's see. This is the first track on the EP. It is called No Joy. My singer Brian is in the Air National Guard. And uh, No Joy is a slang term for radio operators when there's no connection. No joy, no joy. I'm hearing static in your voice. No joy, no joy. I play bass and I sing the harmonies in the song. No joy, no joy. There's no more magic in the noise. No joy, no joy. No joy, no joy. I'm hearing static in your voice. No joy, no joy. Piano too. Our drummer plays piano. He's really, really good. Six cards. Seven cards.
Sweet. There's the album. Nah, no, Brian did the artwork. It's supposed to look like John did, though. So yeah, check it out. Teach Me Human, that's my band. Pretty cool stuff, right? You guys like it? You can say no. I actually prefer if you say no if you didn't like it. I like honesty. Honesty is a important virtue. This game is comically over at this point. We have seven cards in our hand and four cards in our graveyard. And every spell in our hand cycles. Sweet, guys. Definitely also really like that song. Obviously we wrote it, but like, that song in particular is like really, really good. So yeah, go, go, go get the album. It's on Spotify, it's on iTunes. Um, it's on Bandcamp, as you can see. It's on Google Play. It's on all the major outlets. I'm just trying to play fast here. So our opponent's just going to... Literally has no chance to win. All right, our clock's ahead of them. Good. I got to say, one of my favorite things in the whole world to do is to play magic, like serious competitive magic, while listening to music. And I really, really hate that I can't do that anymore in tournaments. Um, yeah, it's the cast out. Obviously with the new, you know, with the he headphone rule, it's not that new, but. Yeah, of course it says better go listen to it yourself, not on my crappy stream stuff, but. Sweet, Kobe. Yeah, the harmony stuff's fun. Um, me and Jared both sing harmony, me and the drummer. Um, it's not perfect. We we rushed the recording a little bit. Um, Brian is uh, in the Air National Guard, and he gets deployed um, in like a few, I don't know, a few weeks. He'll be gone until June, and of course I'm moving in July. So the band, unfortunately, is, you know, going to be mostly on the back burner, for, but, um, you know, it's still a lot of fun. Drake Haven, no, we'll keep that one. Yeah, you can't wear headphones when you're playing Magic in a tournament. Sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna play this land. Yeah, it's our, it's um, it's some of our own stuff. I think the drum set was the recording studio guys. Uh, the bass is just direct. Um, and Brian brought his guitar amp, so it's part our stuff, part their stuff. Obviously, our our instruments. The thing is that, I mean, I used to play with one headphone and one on one ear all the time, never had a communication problem, ever. Um, Cause it's just not that hard to just turn the volume down and listen to your opponent, you know? I just really love listening to music, but. Yeah, I get it. I mean, you could also work out a, a series of hand signals with your friends. So that when they walk behind someone, they go like this and you have like a different hand signal for every car they could possibly have. Like, yes, there are ways to cheat. Like, people, you could have someone on the phone, your headphones, like, do random headphone checks and make it so like, the judge can be like, let me see your headphone and listen to it. Or, I don't know, you know, look, I'm not saying it's, you know, perfect. I'm just saying that I really like, yeah, and honestly, and that's true also, just make it so you can't use a player that is hooked up to the internet. So an iPod shuffle is fine. Give me a, give me a Walkman. You know, like, I just want to listen to music. I just love listening to music and playing magic. You might see me in feature matches sometimes. I'm just like singing to myself and bobbing my head because I'm just like putting music in my head. I just love listening to music and playing magic. I just, it's what I really love to do. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. Yeah, Zune, there you go. Zune works. I mean, I mean, I can still hear my opponent. You can still, I still talk. Everything's exactly the same. I just have music in my ears. Usually, I have one. I used to have one earbud. In. That's what I used to do. All right, Gearhawks in. We're on the draw. Still want these countervailing wins, though. I'm just gonna have to cut a fumigate. It's obviously harder to resolve once they have they have stuff and they're gonna play around it and so on. So. We're gonna five of us league here.
Kobe, I find that actually it, it helps me focus. It just locks me in. It blocks everything else out. And the only thing that matters to me is the match right in front of me. Like, it helps me a lot, honestly. A Bluetooth speaker? I'm sure it's the same thing. Because the problem is that if your opponent can hear it, you're bothering them. And if only you can hear it, maybe you're cheating. So, it's unfortunate. This hand is fine. It's not fantastic, but search is obviously really, really good. So you're no longer allowed to listen to. I mean, it's not no longer. It's been it's been the rule for like the past five or six years. But yeah, I keep. Let's do this. Desert of the True. Music major, sweet. I mean, maybe listen to more simple music. For a while, I thought I only would like to listen to um, instrumental music when I was playing, like uh, Mogwai, This Will Destroy You, Explosions in the Sky, stuff like that. So I thought I thought other things would be distracting. But then I tried it, and I just everything's fine. You know, like it just makes me feel locked in. It's hard to. Describe. Long Tusk Cub, no land drop. That's pretty good for us. Sensor in the bin. No, we're going to keep that one. Uh, yes, I am the standard player for Dallas. SCG Dallas is in two weeks. Team event, first uh, Rivals of Ixalan standard event. I am the standard player. Todd Stevens is our modern player, and Jody Keith is our legacy player. So, good squad, pretty happy. This deck is great. This deck's really, really fun. And welcome, Michael. You're just tuning in. Of course, welcome, welcome, welcome. Follow, follow, follow. Etc., etc., etc. Um, I've never heard of any of those bands, Shane. Please shoot me a, a link on Twitter. I'd love to listen to it. Obviously, I can't listen to it right now. So, any and all music requests, please. I would love to hear it. I love music. I used to be a radio DJ. I've been playing in bands for the last 15 years. Love music. So, any requests, I would love to hear it. Not a request, a, su a suggestion. All right. Well, obviously, that's not going to be censorable. We're going to need to find um, an answer to these things at some point. Sweet gifts I'm given, sweet. Um, I don't think that energy will be banned, nor do I think it should be banned, but there's definitely a possibility. <sighs> Sarcophagus is not really helping us that much right now. Um, We already have search. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bin this. If I didn't have search, I would keep it. Oh shit. Oh, well, I kept it. Sure. Uh, it was pretty close anyway, so I guess it's fun. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, I was gonna bin it because um. We have search as our card advantage engine. But. Oh no, Kobe. It's all just we're all idiots basically. We are not classically trained in any way. I can't read music. No one in the band can read music. Our drummer Jared has only, has only been playing drums since our band started. He like started playing drums like, you know, a, a few weeks before he started playing. I mean, me and Brian, me and the singer, have been in like five bands together for the last like 15 years. And me and Brian have been in like, kind of like a Tool-esque, like heavier band. We were in like a hip hop band. We were in a punk band. And now we're in this band. So me and him have been playing together forever. But Jared's a, a new drummer. And you can hear it. I mean, he's, you know, he's definitely like, not up to the you know the performance level of like a really really solid drummer but he's pretty good so I was really good at piano to the point where like if the band you know if I, if I wasn't moving we'd probably move him to piano and add more piano stuff to the songs and then and then get a drummer but all right rivulet been that refiner okay um 
Let's yeah, let's just ship this. We're gonna illuminate and cycle sensor. Thanks, train. You've got tweets. All right. Trumpet sax? Nah, it's not really me. I like ska bands, but I'm not a, not a big fan of of um like horn instruments in uh, non ska music. This is a pretty good card to, to have. But also, we just I don't I don't play them or know anyone who plays them. You know, I, I like the word I like the word three piece. Um, if we had a piano, it would be, be a four-piece, obviously, but... Alright, Death Gorge Scavenger here is kind of annoying. It's fine. I think we're just gonna cast out this thing. Yeah, I, I love Less Than Jake. I've seen Less Than Jake more than any other band. My uh, my ex-girlfriend, do I, I dated for a long time when I was like in my teens and stuff. I was a big Less Than Jake fan, so... I've been to many, many, many Less Than Jake shows. I'm um, not familiar with morphine at all. All right, let's um, we're gonna cast out again. We're at the point now where like we can't only just die to a negate on a wrath if we find one. So I love music. Always happy to discuss music at any point. Especially my music. Countervailing winds in the graveyard? Yeah. We need answers. Right now we're dying. Nickthos. Nick, is that you? Is that the Nick Miller coverage associate? Is it the or the? The Nick Miller? I don't know. Who knows? Toby, I, I, I see that. I see that. Alright, so not playing around settle here. Um, let's take a look forward, I guess. What's up, Gon? So, my friends, if you're just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing some blue white cycling. In standard, we're discussing some music and having some fun and relaxing. We're three and zero in this league. We're up a game in this match. Opponent definitely has negate in their end, um, and we're gonna need to find something here. That's not bad, honestly. Renewed faith. Okay. Um. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. That's okay though. I think we can make this work. I think we can just cast our sarcophagus. And then we can cycle renewed faith to stay alive. Excellent. Sarcophagus is real, real good. And they can't play Glorbringer and just kill us without. You know, they, because they'll, they'll have to play around subtle, so. Um, this deck is pretty good versus mono red. Game one can be a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Die Young is pretty bad last chance. Just play four Harness Lightnings. Alright, we'll go to a Deuce. I guess if they have Chandra here, we're dead, but I mean... We don't really have a better play, I suppose. Okay. We survived, and now we have... Okay, well now we have some issues, because now we can... What's well, gonna flip? That's good. And Drake even. Shane Beeps, thanks for watching, my friend. 
So now we can um, we can fumigate, they negate, and we countervailing winds back. The problem is that they have a Chandra or a Glorybringer, we're dead. But I don't think we really have any other options actually, so what are we gonna do? I guess we got a five. That's a thing. Kill me. Yeah, you want Harness Lightning, Fatal Push, a Braid. Those are your big ones. I did a uh, a donation bonus. I'm sorry, a, a a deck tech for Last Chance PR's Grixis Standard Deck a little while ago. Last Chance is a new sub for the stream. Everyone say hi to Last Chance. And um, all new subscribers to the stream get a free deck deck, which is pretty Melvin. cool. Maybe you have a new Ixalan deck you want to, uh, or Rivals of Ixalan deck you want looked at. Just got a sub. We're at 99 subs. We can't break this 100 barrier. We've, we've broken it before, but. All right, so now. Now it's on. What do I think of Sultai Merfolk? What's the black for? Yeah, once the Drake Haven gets down, we we have our our lock set up basically now. I mean, once you have these are your three pieces, you have Escantha, Sarcophagus, and Drake Haven in play. You're uh, you're ready. Dusty Sax, the dustiest of Sax. You're not a new sub. You've been here before, but thank you. That's our hundredth sub. Everyone show some serious love in chat for Dusty Sax. The old Dusty Sax. Show some love in chat right now. I'll ban people. I don't think, think the plus one, plus one counter synergies are what you're looking for in a Merfolk deck. I think you're looking to play about 2-4 Legend and, and just draw a million cards. Yeah, that's a hundred. It worked. We're gonna hieroglyphic. I like to, I like to make land drop and draw cyclers. Dusty sacks. A sack after my own heart. Thanks, Dusty. All right, now we're just littered with uh possibilities here. Alright, that's not a great draw, but sure. Now we each have everything. So we have full graveyard, full cards. Game's over. We're about to be 4-0. It's not been a short league. It is 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm still awake. But I guess I'm prepping for tomorrow night, because tomorrow night I'll be up from 1 to 3 a.m. I have the night shift uh, on the official Magic the Gathering stream um, pre-release extraordinaire thing. Um, all day, the official Magic Twitch will be hosting all sorts of streamers who are playing the um, Rise of Rise of Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan pre-release. So I'll be on the official channel from 1 to 3 a.m. Make sure you come hang out with me. I don't think the Dusty Sacks, that, that card's not good as a 4 of. That's like a 1 or a 2 of. It's too obvious otherwise. Any reasonable player will never walk into that in a million years. Naya Dinosaurs? I don't uh, I don't see how Hard Akiran fits into a, a dinosaur shell, really. What's up, Captain Jack? Your creatures, they just keep dying to my drakes. You used to call me a man. 
That's a lot of energy. Um, maybe we should try and deal with this. Look, Essence Scatter. How lucky. Escanta gives you everything you could ever want. Easy game. This game's close. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look who's awake. You ran, you ran way too fast. Burnsy, come back. This card again? Whatever. Thanks for following, Sergeant Trey. If you can follow the stream with that follow button, of course. Okay, nice. Nice game here. A braid Geralt. Yeah, sure. Essence scatter that. Activate search for Escanta. Get more good cards. Humigate. Yeah, let's take the Hieroglyphic Illumination. Cards in any order. Yep, playing Blue White Cycling. You used to call me a. What's up, Strix Familiar? Deck is sweet. Thanks for following. You used to call me on my. You used to call me on my. Breaks here. Bristling Hydra. Uh, we could censor. Nope, only have two censors. Yeah, whatever. That's a Bristling Hydra. Got it. Anything else? Yawn. There's no reason to play search. I have a million things to do with my mana. And for it's very, very minimal impact. I think it's possible a tune gets banned. I don't think it's likely. I don't think it should. Um, yeah, energy's frustrating, but it's just a good deck. It's not broken. Um, and that's just, it's just gonna be good decks in standard. Banning cards is so bad for magic. Game two, we are up a game. And we have six cards in our hand and about five five to ten castable cards in our graveyard. This game's been over for about five turns, but we gotta finish it out, you know? The problem is that, I, I was saying this earlier, I don't, want to, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but the cost of banning cards is really, really high. Like, it's so bad for your average FNM player who doesn't play for three weeks and shows up and their deck is banned and they're just like, I'm out of here. Screw this. You know? Um, the cost of banning cards is really, really high. And I don't think that, I think that turn four Splinter Twin combos and turn four Ulamogs is a pretty bad format. I think when your best deck in the format is just a mid-range deck that's like playing creatures and removal spells, can't kill before turn 5 or 6, 
just a fair, just a very, very good fair deck, it isn't that bad. If you're tuning in, welcome, like I said, this is our deck, Drakehaven, Sarcophagus, it's pretty awesome. And, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Let? Thanks for following. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub. I have a nice new YouTube channel I've been messing around with. That's pretty awesome. Also, my uh, my band, Teach Me Human, just released a new uh, EP. I played a song earlier, and uh, everyone seemed to like it, which is cool. Check that out, too. No one plays FNM anymore because it's so boring. Stores stop supporting standards. So, I don't... So, 007, are you saying that people stopped playing FNM because standards sucked? Or... People stop playing FNM, therefore stores stop supporting standard. It, it, is, it hasn't been bad lately. Uh, I travel to a lot of stores. Um, you know, we do our challenge events. You know, previously with Team MGG, now with Team BCW, where we show up to local stores the Friday before SCG Tour open stops and play a like a challenge event. We gunsling, you can play against us and win prizes and stuff. Uh, run through our, you know, run through BCW. And um, I talked to a lot of store owners and a lot of like local level FNM Magic players who aren't going to go to that big tournament. And bans are murder on those kind of players. Perhaps today is I mean, Ramen up, Ramen up Red's a red deck. Like, red decks. If they're going to aggro you out on turn four but have trouble with cards like this, it's a red deck. It's okay. No, yeah, I mean, Standard has been in a really bad place for the last, um, for the last year, honestly. Um, it's been a real bad, this is probably one of the worst Standard stretches I've seen in a long time. I've been playing Magic for a really long time. Um, you know, three banning cycles in one year, like, that hasn't happened since ever, I mean, honestly where they had to keep banning things. Like with Affinity, they just like, all right, ban the artifact lands, ban everything, we're done. You know? Um, they banned Skull Clamp too, I guess. That was a pretty bad time, but that was like 15 years ago. You know? Yeah, I think Wizards just needs to do a much, much better job with, uh, what's up, Silver? Much better job with their their in-store, um, in-store programs, new player acquisition, um, Modern's very popular. Modern's great. Modern's not for new players. It's for, you know, we need events for, for new players to get to grow magic and to grow the, the player base and stuff. The last good standard format. Um... It's been up and down. I think it was only two, Milkman. I think it was just Skull Clamp by itself, and then all the Affinity cards. Um, the last best, last good standard format. Cons block was fine. I didn't think that the uh, the Bant Company time period was that bad. I mean, I did win an open with Bant Company, so maybe I'm biased, but um. The card collecting company did some pretty messed up stuff, obviously. Um, obviously, all these recent, you know, the recent history of banning Smuggler's Copter and Emrakul and Aetherworks Marvel has been a really, really bad. But Ari, the, that's the thing. People always look back on these formats with like rose, rose-colored glasses, like and of nostalgia. Over like Callblade, that format was great. At the time, everyone was doing exactly what they're doing now. They were screaming for bans, and things got banned. You know, like, people are going to look back five years from now and be like, Oh, man, Emrakul cool, the Promised End, Smugglers Cop, and those cards were so cool. Pons Theros was pretty good. RTR Theros was good. Energy. We've already beaten a Soul Tide energy deck and two Teamer energy decks, so we're doing alright. Last Chance PR, I think it would have been a lot better if they just banned Marvel first. 
Um, I mean, Emrakul was like, I don't know, one set per plane trimming on mechanics? Not really, like, the problem is energy is just like a pretty lame insular mechanic. Like, you're never going to play this card anywhere except with Kaladesh cards. That's lame. You know, that's a very parasitic design. It's not very exciting, you know? Cycling is great. Like, it's in a lot of sets. Sure, a card like this, obviously, is, like, only meant to be played with cycling cards. But, you know, it's it's one card. It's not an entire, like, mechanic. So... Um, no rivals yet. This is only, um... Ixalan. I mean, the problem is that Slim, Emrakul was ending every game. The Delirium, it's, the, the Delirium deck was, like, a little too good. Um, and then Sensor. And then, um, the Marvel decks were obviously stupid good. Like, the Marvel Cool Emrakul decks were not fun at all. Um, alright. We're going to the Rivals GP. I will not be at, a G I will not be at the GP. I very rarely play GPs. They're pretty terrible. Pretty terrible value. I'll be at uh, SCG Dallas for the uh, opening weekend of um, Rivals of Exelon, and I have no idea what I'm playing. Could slam a sarcophagus here. Um, I obviously play a braid, but I guess the in the. Fear is they resolve like a sh I mean, you can't stop Chandra anyway. Yeah, we'll just slam it. I don't really want to cast Essence Scatter this turn, probably, if we have Fumigate. I don't want to use Essence Scatter a little later on, so. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm playing at the open. Not a clue. I haven't even started thinking about it from, you know, from a, a serious perspective. I thought about it, like, theoretically, but. Or Shima Cube at all? Yeah, sometimes. Check out my YouTube channel. I did a lot of, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun stuff on there with uh, with cubing. My new, pretty new YouTube channel. Check it out. I got um, some cube drafts on there. I did um, a few uh, a few fun cube drafts where I did a uh, a no blue cube. That was really fun. I didn't draft blue cards on purpose. Tiny cube where the cube I had, I had to draft cards that cost three or less. Uh, my seven year old drafted a cube deck for me. Pretty fun. So check it out on YouTube. If you're looking for content, I mean, hi, what's up? This is my full-time gig. How's it going? Ooh, Oasis. So they're possibly playing the the uh, Pummeler deck. Now, Slim, I agree that I think that Emrakul sort of bit the bullet for um for Aetherworks Marvel's transgressions. I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Um, but. Emrakul is still pretty, uh... What's up, Austin Rosen? Yeah, I'm getting ready for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'll be up from 1 to 3 a.m. Um, I am the 1 to 3 a.m. time slot on the official Magic Online Twitch Rivals of Ixalan pre-release extravaganza. Um, they're going to host a different streamer for every two hours all day. And um, I have the 1 to 3 time slot. So I'll be drafting Ix Rivals of Ixalan tomorrow night this time. Check it out. Locust God and Holtilly Emblem. I don't know what Holtilly does. Yep, I'll be in Dallas. Me, Todd Stevens, and Jody Keith. It's a squad. I do say so myself. Alright, so like a medium spot here. Um, Dallas is team. Standard Legacy Modern. The Glimpse of Nature? Alright, so they're going to pump. If they're playing the... Uh, what's it called? Pummeler deck, and they have Blossoming Defense. It's going to make our farm to market look really, really dumb. But we're just going to cast it because we have Fumigate next turn anyway, so hopefully they just cast whatever they do. 
I had a BCW sleeves compared to Dragon Shields. Yeah, they do have it. Okay. Uh, well, they're cheaper and they're better. So they shuffle really, really well. Uh, I've been using the B I've been using the BCW sleeves now for like a year and a half. Team MGG actually helped to develop them. Um, we were like we were like you know testing the prototypes for them, and they're they're really good sleeves. They shuffle really, really good, and the corners last for a long time. I shuffle really hard, so that's a pretty big one. Three cards in hand. I mean, we're gonna fumigate, and they're probably just gonna cast a a, a, a a bristling hydra, which sucks. Don't really have a another answer though, so I guess we're just doing it. And God forbid they have a counter spell here, we're just gonna die. So whatever. I mean, they have, they have main deck counter spells. God bless them. Such suspense. Can't can't do that to me, opponent. Alright? You can leave me in ridiculous suspense. Dover Skrill, because they're both very reasonable things. Oh my god, here we go. Alright, we are in big trouble. Settle. Alright, I mean. not in good shape. I mean, Marvel was so unabashedly unfun to play against. Like, playing that Players' Championship with, like, I played Marvel and I hated it. Like, that was not fun. Just like, alright, Marvel, and like, 40% of the time you win, you win the game on the spot, and then otherwise you keep playing, but it's kind of just a, a disaster, like... They get a cartouche of knowledge us right now. Two four eight sixteen. God, we're so dead. Seto at least. Can gain 8 life. Going for 8. Sure. We did it, Burnsy. We survived. We survived. Hallelujah. Okay, so now we gotta draw a Wrath of God or a Settle the Wreckage. So we're, the, the, the sixth life doesn't matter. We're just gonna cycle more cards. Thanks for following, bro. Essence Scatter? Come on. Does it have trample? It doesn't have trample yet. We are trying. Okay. I mean, they can't give a trample when it, uh, they could with that plus four one, maybe? We're blocking, so I mean, we ain't, we're playing face up here. What the hell is this? They did have it. You people and your tromples, whatever. All right, so lost the game one here. I mean. 
Maybe we could have played differently. I don't know. That that the bossy defense on the farm really hurt, obviously. I don't know. Alright. Let's board. Negate. Negate. Spell pierce. Forsake. Ballista ballista. Gear hulk gear hulk. Uh we're cutting far in the market because I, I don't want to get involved with blossoming defense. Um This matchup doesn't seem very good, honestly. Like a lot of our cards just don't matter that much, and they just they're gonna have so many like spell pierces and blossoming defenses that are just so good against us. It's gonna be pretty tough to win, I think. I do want this four, this 5-0, I'm not gonna lie. And we don't want walking ballista. It's a good answer to Pummeler in particular. Uh, but not great otherwise. Yeah, I don't think we want this card actually. We have three Settle and three Fumigate. I got a Countervailing. Actually, maybe I'll cut the, um, one of the Sarcophagus. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, matchup against Energy is very good. Uh, we've, we've defeated Team or Energy twice so far, and Solta Energy once. It's not insane. Like, after board, they can obviously beat you pretty easily. Not easily. I mean, they can beat you, for sure, with their negates and stuff, but it's pretty good. Alright, this is a good end. No, I agree. Dovra, Skrilla, that's also one of the, um, one of the problems with banning cards aggressively, is that now everyone's just like, Pumat's broken, ban it. And they don't try and solve anything. Them and they don't try and solve anything themselves. A, because they're lazy, and B, because they expect you to just get banned anyway. So. Alright, so this hand is great. Sensor. The old pummeler, you know? Sometimes you just get pummeled. Virtuoso. That's not gonna be very good against my Drake Havens. Yeah, we're gonna keep that cycle land. Playing lands is somewhat appealing, but having a cycler with two Drake Havens at play is also pretty appealing. I play any modern? I play everything. I am multi talented. Oh, there's the pummeler. Thanks, who's bored? This is the uh, copyright playlist. Make sure I don't get muted on my YouTube videos. Alright. I mean, obviously they could just kill us with Pummeler, but do I play Canlander? Is that Canadian Highlander? No. That's my joke format. Whenever I, whenever I make a joke about, like, a ridiculous format, I say Canadian Highlander. Well, I'm currently in modern. I'm playing uh, Green Black Tron, but I'll play whatever I think is good. I have a pretty wide range. I mean, if they had a stupid invigorated Rampage card here, we're just dead. But, I mean, whatever. Like, what do you want from me? I'm just gonna block. Sweet. Uh, I don't play Commander. Alright, cool. We're alive. That's all that matters is that we're alive. I play everything that's a, a, a competitive standard format. I'm a, I'm a competitive format. It's late. I basically play whatever my next tournament is, usually. Sweet, Brennan. Popper? Nah, no popper. Z Magic! Everyone's going to bed when I'm still awake for some reason. Z Magic, thanks for the host, my friend. If you're just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Jim Davis. We're 4 0 in a league right now with Drake Haven, Blue White Control. We're down a game against Pummeler. 
we're battling. Make sure you follow the stream if you haven't followed the stream. Yeah, and if you're a, if you're a Jun player, uh, you're not gonna like Tron very much. What's up, Kev? Yep. Like I said, I'm getting ready for tomorrow night, from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. I'll be doing the pre-release on the official Magic Twitch stream, doing an all-day streamer celebration for the pre-release. Do I have any Green Black Tron gameplay videos? I don't think so, but I wrote an article on StarCityGames.com called The Guide to Tron. So, check that one out if you're looking for a little, uh, little advice on the old Tron skis. Thanks for following. Cast. This is effectively a 5-5. Five five. Yes, let's do it. No problem, my friend. Alright, so we lose a token in the exchange here, theoretically, but a lot of blockers. That's like a really good draw, too. So we can make them use all their crap here, hopefully. Just don't have Rampage and kill me. It's as simple as that. Isn't really a super good way to play around Rampage anyway. Oh god. Here we go. What is this? Nah, no, it's good. Never no, we're fine. What's the appeal to Tron? Um, you play Karn on turn 3 and brown people. You used to call me your man. And play Ugin the Spirit Dra Dragon. Well, that was a good combat for us. <laughs> search for Ascantha. Alright, we're going to take a turn off here and just play Search and Sarcophagus. Make some blocks. We'll have Fumigate at the ready. As long as they don't cheese us out. Some double strike shenanigans, I think we're good. I would say Tron's a good first modern deck. Linear, powerful. They have a lot of cards in their end, I'm not gonna lie. Somebody say Fumigate? Planes in the graveyard? Yeah. Break even. Eh, maybe not. Uh, I'm a, I'm a green black drawn player. Black cards are very important. Um, let's see here. Fumigate here. They could have a Hydra. Um, I want to get that extra card in the graveyard for Search to flip it next turn. And yeah, we can battle through a Hydra. You know, we have Gear Hulk and Drake Haven and stuff. Positives and negatives are this card is much, much better against. Uh, it's better against Mono Red and it's better against. Um, it's better in the early game. Like. If your opponent's playing negates and stuff, it's pretty hard to resolve approach if you're not like already ahead. Whereas Drakehaven slips in early, and you can see in this game, I mean, we just keep making drakes and blocking, and they can't get through. So they're wasting all their resources on our drakes, and we still have always great cards in our hand. So, um, also this card is just insane, like absolutely insane. Right now we have a sensor, a renewed faith, and a cast out all in our hand, as well as these cards. 
Like whenever you have this assembled, like this and this, it's pretty hard to lose. Come on, opponent. Bronzy, Bronzy fell asleep. Aw. Oh, they're sleeping on top of each other. That's Sammy in there, too. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Bernsey. Nope, back to sleep. Alright, well, our opponent still isn't doing anything, so... Ah, uh, there we go. He's getting up. There he is. There's Burnsy and there's Sammy. That's our opponent. Opponent's back. So we're not super happy with this, but it's fine. Um, if they have a Hydra here, it's not great. But if they don't have a Hydra here, we're pretty pretty heavy favorite, I think. So Okay. Okay. Alright. Sensor in the graveyard. We can't do that unfortunately because it'll, it'll get exiled, so we gotta keep that one. And I guess we'll just play our third Drake Haven. And just really uh turn it up here. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Ray Caven. All right, serving a conduit. Got it. Alright, we're going to cycle and make some drakes. And then make some blocks. And make them use all the resources. Again, this is this is why the haven's so good. Because you make them waste all their crap on your drakes. And then you still have all your good stuff going on. So we're gonna go block. We double block. Yeah, just block one on each. Oops, oops. That's fun. Obviously, we're looking for a wrath here at some point, or some sort of, you know, more permanent answer, but for now, this is fun. That's pretty cool. I like Saffron Olive. does some cool stuff. Spell Pierce in the Graveyard? Ah, uh, yeah. Could keep, it's pretty good for a future Fumigate, but... We're gonna bin it. I bring it. I did bring it. Spell pierce. Yeah, right. Sensor. All right. I mean, we're just gonna make some drakes. Trying to make a land drop. A double block wastes more energy, but it also gives them energy because of the trigger, so. Cast out. All right, so no land drop, but that's fine. I guess we just, yeah, just leave it. All right, make a million blocks. Yawn. Like most good control decks, typically you have the game far in hand before you actually win. Eight, three, four, five, six, seven. That uh, kills it. Yeah. 
This game is basically locked up, barring some sort of ridiculous cheese in the form of, you know, pummeler into whatever, and me not having anything, despite having search and so on and so forth. Has to be the fumigate. It has to be. It has to be the cast out also, and two sensors and gain six life. Opponent is still battling, not giving up. There's your pummeler. Um, three cards and so the first thing we're going to do is cast cast out on the pummeler. We have double sensor, triple sensor, to counter a negate or something. Just need to not get cheesed out. And you thought these sensors were going to be worthless. You were wrong. Although there is a little bit of the fear of them having artifact removal and like end step pummeling us and then killing us, that'd be pretty sick. But that's not gonna happen. We're not gonna let that happen. Mm, double up. Waste all your energy. See if I care. There's plenty more drakes where that came from. What's up, H. Rollins? I haven't, seen, I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Desert of a True. Four and four. We're gonna play this. It seems silly to play a cycling card. We have Drake Havens in play, but we have infinite cards basically. We just need mana to play all our cards. This is six Drakes right here, plus two cards. that one for safekeeping. We should have a block all button. How did I play a sensor sensors from the graveyard? I'm cheating. Filthy cheater. The Bandit Sarcophagus. This card's really, really sweet. Basically, this allows you to recast any kind of recycling in your graveyard. So it's like a permanent Yagmoth's will. So right now I can cast Illumination, Cast Out, Illumination, Sensor, and Renew Faith. Sweet. Alright, Bonner, have fun. One, it's not giving up. They want to waste the uh, waste their time. It's fine, fine by me. Definitely hit a point with this deck where you can't really lose anymore. That's they were basically at that point. We're also very interested in keeping our opponent's energy energy total as low as possible, so they can't cheese us out with with uh, pumpler. Chomping and talking about five tokens. Nah, I want to keep their energy low. We just always win the long game here, so. I mean, this deck is like, it's not, like I didn't, I didn't build this deck myself. Like, I mean, I've worked on it. This is my version of the deck, but um, the deck definitely has been around for a bit. Yes, Fasar, you're correct. 
Uh, I mean, obviously, it's the problem is that most of these cycling cards are already playable in Standard, like Cast Out, Illumination, Sensor. Uh, they're not playable in Modern. So, when you have a card that makes your already playable cards better, that's good. When you have a card that requires you to play unplayable cards, that's bad. We are 4-0. We're going for the 5-0. We're down a game. This game looks good. It may come down to the wire. Right, Burnsy? God damn it, Burnsy, wake up. He's so lazy. <sighs> Yeah, this card's so good. Very, very good. We can get Burnsy a card. Gave Burnsy a goblin token. Burnsy loves it so much. Look at him. He's so well trained. He's the best stream mascot to ever live. Look at him. I mean, our opponent is not gonna have time for game three here, so. Hell yeah, it is. Burnsy's the best. Chew that goblin token, Bernie. Burnsy. Look at Sammy. Sammy. Sammy's like, yo, I'm just trying to sleep, man. You guys need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks for following Swag. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Burnsy is a gerbil. Gerbils are illegal where you live? Where do you live, Cloud Spawn? <laughs> it's a good thing our opponent is wasting our time because we get to watch Burnsy chew on magic cards. Everyone put a heart in chat for Burnsy. Raise your hearts for Burnsy. Show him some love. Look at him. Look at him. What's he doing? He's just trashing stuff. Now, he's, now it's snack time. Raise your hearts for Burnsy. Oh, look who's back. Oh, they conceded. Smart. That's good. They they, they waited for five minutes and then conceded. Good, good use of clock time. Raise your hearts for Burnsy. They love you, Burnsy. They love you. Sammy's like, what about me? Well, Sammy, you, you didn't get up and chew the card like Burnsy did. Sammy, you're you're Burnsy's brother. You're just the also ran, you know? You're a sidekick. You're Robin. Someone's gotta be Robin. In the Pacific? Like in the Pacific Ocean or Pacific time zone? What the hell is that? Gunners! <laughs> wow. No gerbils, that's rough. Burnsy the Destroyer. Well, see, it's funny, actually, you mentioned that, because of the, um, before Burnsy, we got Burnsy a year ago. Before Burnsy, there was Jeru. And Jeru is actually the gerbil on the emote you see in chat. And Jeru was a great gerbil. He was a great mascot. And I said that when Jeru passed away, I was going to win the Invitational and make a token for him, a pack rat token, um, in his memory. And unfortunately, I came in third, which sucks. Damn it, Ben Friedman. But thankfully, Inkling Customs made this cool token for Giroud. Giroud Pack Gerbil. And I'm actually uh, going to have Inkling make some more tokens. I'm going to have them make a Grizzle Burnsy, a parody of Grizzle Brand, and a Jerulamog, a parody of Ulamog for, for Burnsy and for, um, for the late Giroud. What are mulligans? This is a tough hand. This is a hand that can definitely die without doing much. We're gonna mulligan this. Our opponent's deck is too. This is much better. This is so much better. You, you never tell a robin that they're a robin to their face. It's the boy wonder. The gerbil wonder. How often do my gerbils demand card sacrifices? Burnsy can't really talk. It's kind of hard to, like, get that out of him, you know? 
But um, whenever I put a card in there, he runs over every time, without fail. He really just loves chewing on magic cards. He loves his job. You know, it, it's it's good to love your job. Love what you do. We're gonna top that. Love what you do, and then you'll never work a day in your life, you know? This is the deck I'm playing in opens. There aren't many mod uh, standard opens, unfortunately, at the moment. Um, this is the deck I wish I had played at the Invitational. Uh, I did not. I played Ravenap Red because I was too scared to play this deck in the Invitational. But it is very good, so. Um, team for Dallas is myself, Todd Stevens on Modern, and Jody Keith on Legacy. It's a good squad. And I am playing Standard. Okay. Let's counter Veil here. Not bad. Garnsey's favorite card to chew up. He's pretty non-discriminatory. Discriminatory. Rogue Refiner. Alright, it's annoying, but whatever. Here's a good cycle looking for a um dance cycle. Look for essence scatter. No, well, that's fun. Uh, I guess so, Max. Okay, that's a good one, too. Um, we're just a raw dog to draw to. If you play me and somehow win, will I sign all 75 cards of your deck to make it not worth anything? <laughs> I could do that. Usually my warning before I signed cards, I was like, I was like, are you sure I'm gonna sign this card? I signed I signed an underground C once, and I, I asked the person literally ten times. I'm like, are you sure? Like, you realize this is gonna devalue your card, right? Like no one cares about about my, my signature. Like, you sure? Like really, really sure? And they were sure, and they were happy, so I was happy. Yikes. Uh. Alright. That's a little tilty. Um No, obviously obviously I'm 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 being facetious, you know, it, it's what they wanted to do and it made them happy. And I'm more than happy to sign stuff, but you know, underground sees like a lot of money. Why Underground Sea? I mean, I want an open with, uh, with Assault Eye Delver. I can only assume that's the reason. It's kind of a throwaway spell here. If they counter it, sure. If they don't, say it's great. Sure. Spell Pierce. Tilt. Like, Humigate, Gear Hulk, Settle. All, uh, very powerful. Sahili plus Kubacabra is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty sweet one. El Chupacabra. And don't watch the X-Files. Alright, Virtuoso has a card. There's no way they have another spell pierce, right? That'd be insane. I'm gonna fumigate here. Uh maybe it's Drake Haven now. Nah, it's Fumigate. A second spell pierce, spell pierce would be pretty, pretty sketch. A prowess infect creature? That'd be insane. Nah, I'd rather save a settle for later. Another gear hulk? Alright. Alright. Guess we'll just gear hulk. <laughs> I mean, Sahili Cooper is a little more fair than Sahili Feldar Guardian, you know? Alright, we'll just let him take, let's take the two here. Servant of the Conduit. Sure. Don't 
I don't know what counterspell they could have to counter us. Like Supreme Will, maybe. I think this one's looking pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm dizzy. Whew. All right, my friends, we did it. The old Fibo. How do you like them apples? Huh? You like apples? Do you? Do you like apples? That's the deck, my friends. There you go. Open the chest. All right, I'll open one chest. I never open chests. But for you fine folks, it's been a great stream. 300 viewers. Show some hype in chat and we'll open up a, a chest. Make sure you follow the stream, too. I want some follows, too. So, follow the stream. Go online. Go to the YouTube. Please, just take two seconds and sub to my YouTube channel. It's new. It's going to be really, really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, so, go on. Check out the YouTube channel. Show some hype. We'll open a chest. I tell you what. If we open a invocation, we'll give it away. I'm a maniac. I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. What am I, what am I doing here? All right. I'll open a chest. I never open chests. That's right, more follows. We need more follows for this chest opening, because I never open chests. Whoa. If I'm not back in five minutes. Victory. Just wait longer. Victory. That's a sub. That's two chests. Victory. For the win. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? We have a card of all time. We have a deck of all time. Most important, what's your name, where you're from? That's two chests. Any more subs, we'll do a chest for each sub. But limited time offer. I'm going to bed soon. It's like 3 a.m. here. All right. First, where are the chests? Oh, the, it's over here, right? They, they screw them up because they do the stupid thingies. Yeah. Apparently, you have to go to versions. Show versions separately. So it separates the player rewards packs from the chests. Thanks, Sad Robot. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's the sell, the sell out sub club. All right, chest number one. Hey, we, that, that card's in our deck. We played that card in our deck. It's right there. See? All right, privileged position. Okay. And uh, victory is Jake from Oakland, playing Magic since before you could read. That's awesome. 22 years. Favorite card is Time Walk. Love the stream. Jake, thanks, my friend. Everyone show some love for Jake and chat. Welcome our new sub. We're a family here. We all work together. Show some love for Jake and chat. We got one more chest, unless someone else wants to sub. If you keep subbing, we'll keep doing chests. But I'm pretty happy to open it no more and go into bed. I'm sleepy. So, here we go. This one's for Jake. Wound reflection. Beginning of each end step, each player, each opponent loses life. You look up a life he or she lost that turn. Car we should have taken in that draft. And trespassers curse. There's a reason why I don't open chests. Just throwing that out there. All right, my friends. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very, very much. We got a host coming up. We'll do that in a second, so stay tuned for that. But for now, thanks for watching. Once again, follow the stream. Go online. Follow the YouTube. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Stream tomorrow night. I'll be doing a, a Rivals of Ixalan pre-release around this time. So I will see you there. Okay? 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 Thanks for watching. Say goodnight to Burnsy. Good night, Burnsy. And I'll see you guys next time. My friends, I know you have a choice when it comes to streaming. I think you guys are choosing me. Have a good night. See you guys next time.